Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in 15 minutes from my mark. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. That was your 15-minute time check, stations.
Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in 10 minutes from my mark. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. That was your 10-minute time check, stations.
attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in five minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your five-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in two minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your two minute time check stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check stations.
on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball, presented by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, delivering the funds the university needs to drive academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Visit UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Also brought to you by Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. University of Iowa Healthcare. Changing medicine, changing lives. U.S. Bank. Proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. hy V Score big savings at hy V Deals.com. And by 988 Lifeline. There is hope. 24-7. Call, text, or chat 988. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Here's Rob Brooks. Not quite today. A good afternoon from Carver Hawkeye Arena. John Swisher filling in for Rob Brooks. He is in Indianapolis getting ready for Hawkeye football, the Big Ten Championship. Glad to be joined by Tiffany Reedy, as always, for Hawkeye women's basketball this afternoon as the Hawks host Bowling Green State University. The Falcons, who are 5-1 and one out of the MAC Conference. The Hawkeyes, 7-1 and one out of the Big Ten Conference, of course. Going to be another packed house, uh, Tiffany. A great afternoon atmosphere here today not your normal start time 12 30 will be the uh, tip so Hawks gonna come out ready to play a, a team that does not play in this kind of atmosphere much in Bowling Green if we get to uh, 13 14 thousand this will be the most ever to uh, watch a Bowling Green game so they're glad to have this experience but the Hawks would like to spoil it for them with a victory of course in front of the home faithful today of course yeah I mean every time a team this year is playing the Hawkeyes they can pretty much guarantee an almost sold out if not sold out house I think I just heard Rutgers got sold out in January so these are incredible experiences for these visiting teams so a huge a huge atmosphere today but again like you said kind of a, a different vibe for the girls um, we've been doing the primetime game 730 at night that's what they're coming off three games of 730 at night and to roll in here at you know 11 a.m. to get warmed up is kind of a different feeling and kind of an interesting environment for sure. They've had almost a week off after the uh, Gulf Coast uh, showdown, uh, showcase, I should say, out in uh, Florida. Just a great uh, trip for them. Three games, three W's coming back home. And as Coach Bluter will talk about in her pregame interview, uh, a, a tremendous uh, little revenge factor there with yes. K-State getting that win <laughs> on Sunday night. So what an effort by uh, Coach Bluter and company uh, last weekend. Yeah, it was a kind of a marathon type atmosphere. Coach Bluter mentions a lot. Felt like a Big Ten tournament type environment, and capped off with just an amazing win versus KSU, and really a team that I feel like is really starting to gel and come into their own. No doubt about it. Hawkeyes in their ninth game this afternoon. Bowling Green, their seventh contest. They have just the one loss as they fell to Texas State, 74-48, back on Saturday, November. 11. It's the first ever meeting between these two, the Hawkeyes and Bowling Green State. As we will take our first time out, come back with more of the pregame show here from the Hawkeye Radio Network. Molly's Cupcakes is proudly serving their cookies and treats inside Kinnick Stadium and Carver Hawkeye Arena for a taste of unique flavors you'll love. Stop by their downtown Iowa City location for homemade cupcakes, cookies, cakes, bars, and coffee. Coffee drinks. Molly's Cupcakes is a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Back with more right after this. You're listening to Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Escape to Italy and Sicily in September 2024 with travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited. Enjoy this melting pot of multicultural customs and cuisine and beautiful landscapes. After taking in Rome, we'll head down to the dramatic Sorrento coast and then journey from Italy's heel to its toe of Sicily. To learn more about this or any vacation, contact travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited at duagency.com. That's duagency.com. When the game goes into overtime. 
but the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, oh coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. Back in Carver Hawkeye Arena this Saturday afternoon, getting ready for Iowa women's basketball as they host the Falcons of Bowling Green. Caught up with head coach Lisa Bluter as her team at 7-1 in this non-conference affair today. Talked about that great trip to Florida last weekend and the uh, three wins as they come into this non-conference game today. It really was fun. You know, we were in Florida, beautiful weather, but more importantly, getting three W's in three days, including, you know, having the opportunity to avenge that Kansas State loss. So that felt really good. No doubt about it. And uh, take away things there, the positives moving forward here. You've had a full week to prepare for uh, Bowling Green now. We've had a full week to prepare, but we were pretty wiped out coming home from that trip. You know, playing three games in three days. And I think I got to my house about three in the morning on Monday. And so it was kind of nice to be able to take Monday off. And we took uh, another day, Thursday off this week. So three practice preps to prepare for Bowling Green. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a good Bowling Green team that comes in 5-1, and one, have three or four really outstanding three-point shooters, really balanced team with four people in double figures. And playing uh, without Hannah last weekend, that theme will continue uh, today, unfortunately, but it's a great positive uh, for others to step up, and we saw that last weekend. Well, it really is. You know, it gives an opportunity for Sharon to be in that starting lineup, which she's just getting more and more confident. I mean, Sharon is shooting almost 70, I think 74% from the field on the year, which is absolutely incredible. Um, and also, you know, Molly Davis is getting more time, and she was on the all-tournament team. Uh, Kate's playing at the four position. It's just given us an opportunity to get in a few more guards, which is nice. Sid, I thought, had a nice tournament as well. At this point, uh, the season early on still yet, seven and one. Uh, what do you like the most about your team right now? You know, I like that we're really handling playing with different lineups. You know, for three years, we had pretty much the same lineup, and we were always like, you know, okay, this is the lineup, and it was really consistent. But we've been able to play with multiple different lineups, sometimes because of foul trouble, sometimes because of injuries, sometimes because we tweak things based on the matchup. And I like that we're kind of more flexible this year. Um, I think we're shooting the ball better now. Um, I think we're passing the ball well. I think our defensive intensity has been good as well. And uh, afternoon game, a little different time than you're used to here, but uh, in front of a full house and it's kids day, always a, a fun day for your girls and, and to, to get this uh, game going here against a team you've never seen before. Never coached against Bowling Green before. Um, they have a new coach this year and Fred Schimmel, who I know very well. He was an assistant coach for South Carolina. He's also been an assistant coach for Penn State and for Minnesota, so we've played against Fred many times, uh, and I know he's an excellent coach. And you talk about the uh, prep. Uh, this team runs a lot lot of plays. You've had to go over uh, all those sets and, and be ready for everything today. Yeah, they do run a lot of uh, a lot of different screen opportunities, staggers for their three-point shooters and such. You know, that's where their strength of this team really is. is not the inside game, but the three-point shooting. And so one of our keys is three-point defense. But, you know, playing all those screens and such, it's actually a great experience for us. You know, this week we were able to break down a lot of their plays into drills and just work on that element of it. And it just helps us defensively. 
talk about being in front of this uh, crowd and uh, just talk about that tremendous support. Always great to be here in Carver. Oh, it, it's so good. You know, we are coming off of, you know, three games uh, down in Florida, and then we go on the road next week for two games. And so playing here is special. You know, it's our, our only game in, in a six-game swing that we're playing in our home court. And we love playing in Carver. And uh, our fan support has been amazing. Even in Florida, you know, we pretty much turned that into Carver South. There was so many Iowa Hawkeye Floridians that came out to support our team. That's tremendous. All right, Coach, best of luck today. We'll talk to you later on. Thanks for your time as always. Sounds good. Let's go Hawks. Lisa Bluter, head coach of the Iowa women. We're back after this from Learfield. Want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today for the best home comfort system you can buy. It's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. Soon we'll go from pool back to school. The end of summer is a total bummer. But yesterday I went shopping and got all the essentials. New backpack, new kicks. Oh, and this is huge. Mom finally got rid of our basic internet and switched us to Extreme. The new Wi-Fi is amazing. Go back to school with best and fast internet from Extreme. Get speeds from 100 meg up to 1 gig and Wi-Fi 360 Pro with advanced toll home coverage. Call 844-4FASTER or shop online at Extreme.com. Of our national anthem is always here. Carver Hawkeye getting ready for the Hawkeyes and the Falcons of Bowling Green State University. Travel leaders, destinations unlimited. Iowa's official bowl tour. Proud to announce the Hawkeyes, of course, officially bowl eligible. Travel leaders, destinations unlimited. Iowa's leaders for game tickets, air travel, and hotel. Sign up to automatically receive official bowl travel information. Hawkeyesports.com slash bowl central. Great luck to Coach Ferentz and a company tonight in the Apple 717 kickoff, 5 o'clock pregame here from the Hawkeye Radio Network. As we continue to get ready for this one with the Bowling Green, uh, Tiff, uh, you look at the Falcons, 31 team a year ago. They're the WNIT in the semifinals, and then their uh, head coach uh, went to uh, Michigan uh, State as uh, she uh, decided to uh, further her career and go to Big Ten school, Robin uh, Freelich. And uh, so Coach uh, uh, Sh- Shamil comes in from South Carolina, where he's been yep. for eight years. Great experience for him. He comes over and takes over this uh, program. And, and how about about scheduling oh. Iowa, South Carolina, <laughs> and Indiana. Merry Christmas. And basically back to back. I'm not sure. I, the two, the other two are three weeks from now. Exactly. I mean, what a way to start your, your coaching career. Like, let's just go all in <laughs> and schedule the toughest teams in the country. Um, but honestly, I appreciate that sort of boldness, and I think um, it will only make Bowling Green stronger in the long run. Absolutely. South Carolina, the number one team in the nation, and uh, a connection for 
for him, exactly, of course. He's been yeah. there eight years, so that's obvious. But then another uh, top 25 opponent with Indiana that same week as we continue to get you ready for Hawkeye basketball. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-suite hotels. Home suite, Homewood Suites, and uh, Home 2 Suites by Hilton. Each offer guest spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you visit Hawkeye country like the uh, Hawkeye Radio Network team does. We'll take one more time out. Come back. We get ready for the opening tip. Hawkeyes and the Falcons here this afternoon from Carver Hawkeye Arena. You're listening to Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Did you know that UI ranks near the top of the EPA's Green Power Leaderboard? With 84% of our energy coming from renewable sources. Now you can be a part of the team that makes it happen. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, our partner in a collaborative, NG North America, is now offering part-time, on-campus positions where you can get hands-on, career-inspiring experience in sustainable utility systems management. Check out the jobs and apply now at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The Countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Getting closer to the start of this one as the Hawkeyes and the Falcons of Bowling Green State University. We take a look at some of the keys to the game here at Tiffany. What the Hawks have to do to get a big home win this afternoon in front of a good crowd. Yeah, I think I say this one every game. I will say it again. We need to get the ball inside to the post, and we need to drive hard to the rim. Bowling Green is short and quick, so we just need to attack. We've seen solid play by center Sharon Goodman, Addie O'Grady. They played some gutsy basketball in Florida. But also, when our guards drive to the hoop, pass, get assist, easy high percentage shots, they get excited, the crowd get excited. It's a great way to start a basketball game. No doubt about it. Today's opening tip brought to you by Farmer State Bank. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimal $50 deposit. Requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC. We're underway. The tip goes off of Goodman into the hands of Gabby Marshall as the Hawkeyes come left to right and started at 12:33. Here's a pass inside. Bobbled, juggled by Goodman. She throws it back in, but wrong color jersey into the brown and orange uh, bowling green with uh, brown trim, black numbers. The Hawkeyes in their traditional white uniforms as Bowling Green has it in front of us going right to left. Dribble to the left to the top of the key. Bounce pass driving all the way in. No good by Paige Kohler, the 5'8 guard up ahead. This ball's knocked away. Kate Martin losing that one. Mm, just a little bit of sloppiness to start out the game here, but the Hawks playing some great defense. Here's a three right wing air ball out the back side. It'll be out of bounds off of Bowling Green. Set the starting lineups here. Amy Velasco, a 5'7 junior. Paige Kohler, Olivia Hill, Lexi Fleming, Erica Porter. For the Hawks, Molly Davis, Kate Martin, Caitlin Clark, Gabby Marshall. Talked about Sharon Goodman getting the start. Hannah Stokey missing 
her third game in a row. So Hawkeyes will play without here, here this afternoon. No score early on in quarter number one. Here's Martin for a step back three. Book it. There it is. <laughs> There's the uh, one to get the uh, offense going as the first three ball of the afternoon. And it comes from number 22. Three zip Hawkeyes. There's a bounce pass left corner. Driving to the left elbow. Now right across the lane. Step through move. Put up. Ooh, that was a tough move. A, a crossover. And Gabby Marshall was playing some solid defense there. Hit the back of the rim and trickled on down. Amy Velasco, the 5'7 guard. Junior from Centerville, Ohio. Ball the baseline with Goodman. Eight and a half to go. 3-2, the Hawkeye advantage. Martin now right side. Davis up top. Had a great tournament last weekend. The Gulf Coast Showcase, part of that all-tournament team. Caitlin was the MVP, of course. Nice pass to Marshall with four on the shot clock. Put it up. No good off the back side. Off of Bowling Green. It'll stay Hawkeye basketball. A fresh 20 on the clock. That was a great pass by Caitlin Clark. Just at the free throw line, a couple steps in. Gabby Marshall had the wide open look, but just missed it. Nice job of Gaining the attention yeah. there. And Gabby was wide open. 15 on the shot clock. Step back. Step aside three. No good. This one front side rebound, but Goodman gets it. Back to Caitlin. Drives. Left elbow inside the lane. Bounce pass. Martin. Quick pass to the right corner. Davis for three. Got it to go. Wow. Molly Davis picking up where she left off last weekend. Nobody loves no, nobody loves a Molly Davis three better than I do. 6-2 <laughs> <laughs> Hawkeye, 7.45 and counting. Here's a pass to the right side with the three by Olivia Hill. Got that to go. The six-foot senior from Palatine, Illinois. And a one-point Hawkeye lead at 6-5. Right side, beautiful pass by Caitlin. Kate Martin lays it off the window and good. And then a foul comes. Count the bucket, though. Foul away from the ball. Oh, yeah. Sharon Goodman ended up on the, on the ground, even though she wasn't really at all a part of that play. How about that pass from Caitlin, though? <laughs> yeah, again, uh, her sort of magical way of playing and just looping it in. And Kate Martin has focused a lot in the offseason and has shown great, great skills in getting to the hoop and muscling the ball up for an easy two. So the Hawks get it after the foul is called. Baseline inbounds underneath as they lead by three, eight to five. Seven and a half to go here in the first quarter. Up top is Martin. Bounce pass, Caitlin, right side, all the way in, off the glass, and good, gets the contact, will go to the line, how about that? Oh man, it was like the exact same type of play as the last one, but this time it was Martin to Caitlin Clark, and they're smiling about that out there, that is just fun basketball. They just make it look so easy at times. They do, and I think, you know, I've mentioned this on air before, but I think Kate and Caitlin have a good friendship, and I think they love to to boost each other up and make big plays. Well, that helps, doesn't it? There's a free mm -hmm. throw for the three-point play for Caitlin. Comes in a 77% free throw shooter. Averages almost 30 points a game. That's number one in the nation right now. 11-5, Hawks by six. 7-15 and counting here in the first frame. Coming across the top of the key all the way in. Put up a little flare. Velasco, no good. Rebound there. Left side by... Zekan, and that's no good. Rebound by the Hawks all the way in. Martin puts up low contact, knocked away, nothing called. Bowling Green comes back the other way. Lexi Fleming has it. Now right wing for a three. Kohler, no good. Front side rebound by Caitlin. Clark pushes it ahead, left side. 11 5, six point lead. Gabby for a wide open three, right wing. Got it! <laughs> Clark finding the open girl again. Carver is heating up this early game. As there's a three right side, no good by Velasco. And the Hawkeyes lead by nine, their largest. 14 to five, 636 to go. And a timeout here for Bowling Green. Timeout of the floor with 636 to go in this first quarter. As today's game brought to you by Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. A timeout. We're back after this. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 
or chat 988lifeline.org. Hey, Hawkeyes, while you're hard at work in class or on the court, there's a team behind the scenes making sure that the power keeps going, the water keeps flowing, and the temps inside are just right. Introducing the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative. The Collaborative is a public-private partnership between UI, NG, and Meridium. It delivers the funds UI needs to drive our academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Check it out at UIOAEnergyCollaborative.com. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The Countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye Women's Basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Josh Swisher, former Hawkeye, Tiffany Reedy, back with you from Carver Hawkeye Arena here in Iowa City. 14 to 5, 636 to go in this first quarter. Great start for the Hawks. Nice little spurt over the last 53 seconds, an 8 0 run. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of basketball that fans love, Iowa loves to play. It's pushing the ball, it's moving the ball around, fast pace, getting getting players open shots. There is truly nothing better. <laughs> Not at all. And just just uh, great court vision, of course. We yep. shouldn't be surprised by now, Caitlin. Just finding the open girl and just making it look uh, so easy at times. And Hawkeye's able to finish, get to the line, and make some free throws so far early in this game as they have the nine-point lead. As the Hawkeyes and the Falcons still in their timeout. Throughout the Iowa Corn Seahawk Series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowan. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination, both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook to learn how corn grows Iowa. That game coming up on Wednesday night, of course, in Ames, 6 o'clock, 5.45 the pregame here with Rob and Tiffany from the Hawkeye Radio Network. Here we go. After the first timeout of the afternoon, 6.36 to go in the first quarter, 14-5, to five, the nine-point advantage for the Hawks. Caitlin will inbound it. The Hawks go the length of the floor. A little shovel pass back to Martin, to Caitlin, and she'll bring it up over the timeline with the right-handed hip-high dribble. Up top, thought about a three, but Goodman cutting the basket puts it up, and an offensive oh. foul called. That defender just slid in there and yeah. got the contact as Goodman was a full steam ahead. That was a tough one. Uh, I, I think that was the right call. The defender did a nice job there. I will also give Sharon Goodman some credit. She she caught that pass and maintained control, but just not the outcome she would have liked. Lexi Fleming, the 5'5 senior guard, took the brunt of that contact, earned herself an offensive foul. For Goodman, the Hawkeyes lead by nine. Six minutes to go here in the first. Driving in, traveled first. As falling, uh, shuffling the feet with it, there was Paige Kohler on the right side of the lane. Hawkeyes basketball. Yeah, and Cindy Fulter entered the game, and no doubt, every time she gets on that floor, she finds a way to disrupt the play, cause a turnover. In that case, it was a travel. A falter, the 5'11 junior from Chicago, and Kylie Feuerbach, the six foot redshirt junior from Sycamore, Illinois, is in there as well. Second turnover for Bowling Green. They come in averaging 17 turnovers a game. Hawkeyes at 14 per contest. Nine point lead, just another six to play. Caitlin left side, Marsha for another three. Got it to go. <laughs> from the left corner, Gabby Marshall counts it. And the Hawks, 17 5 lead. Marshall is in the zone right now. We got to get the ball to her when she is open. Now, up top with a left-handed handoff to another guard, Morgan Sharps, 5'10 guard, fifth-year player from Granville, Ohio. Bounce pass inside, knocked away. A falter comes away with it. Doesn't have numbers. She's going aggressive all the way in, off the glass, and good. Great aggressiveness that time. Just a hustle play there by Sydney Falter. Get the steal, get it all the way down. Made the decision to make that easy layup. 
Hawkeyes increase their lead. It's 19 to 5 inside. Little reach in foul going to be called. The baseline inbounds underneath for Bowling Green. Bruce Morris, Nikisha Thompson, and Doug Knight are the officials assigned here for this afternoon's contest. As Caitlin and Sharon will come out as first time in for Addie O'Grady, 6'3 junior from Aurora, Colorado. And she joins a falter, also Fierbach, Marshall, and Davis. And here we've got a push off. A illegal screen called using the shoulder too much, says the official, as Sophie Zekin, the 6'2 senior from Brighton, Michigan, gets called that time. And the Hawks come back with it. Davis up top. Gives it to Marshall. Marshall now surveying. Now a skip pass back to the left corner where Davis is. Thigh high dribble all the way into the lane. Stops. Throws up. Left hand. Can't get it to go. Off the glass and rebounded in the middle of the floor by Zekan. Up ahead. And it's going to be tapped out of bounds. Virovac, good job of getting back there and stopping transition there. And Bowling Green will take it inbounds underneath. Yeah, Kylie Fierbach is another one of those players that when she gets into the game has a really strong athletic ability on defense especially and really gets her hands in the passing lanes. 4.50 to go. First quarter, 19-5 to Hawkeyes with the advantage. Up top, left-handed. Dribble right to left by Morgan Sharps. And now going left to right in the middle of the lane is Lexi Fleming. Gives it off right side as he can. Little flare in the lane with the left hand. Velasco, no good. Spun around. Backside rebound by Addy O'Grady. Up ahead for the Hawks. Davis has it. Right wing. Guarded by Sharps. Nice pass inside. O'Grady off the window and good. O'Grady finishes it, but what a nice assist by Molly Davis. Beautiful pass. Perfect timing there. Waited just enough time for her to get open and get that easy shot. 21-5. Hawkeyes by 16 with just over four minutes to play here in the first. Step back three. Got it. That is Lexi Fleming, the 5'5 senior guard. As she gets another bucket. She's got six points so far in this game. Left side with it. Davis loses it. Coming away with it is Fleming. 21 to 8, Hawkeyes. Back up top. Deep three there and got it to go again. Yeah. Lexi Fleming. They want to keep their eye on her. She's she's a solid three-point shooter. And obviously just hit a couple. Two threes in the last 20 seconds. Comes in 33%, 17 to 51. Nice pass inside. Oh, great. Finishes <laughs> with the open. left hand. Wide open. Job getting behind the defender that time, 23 to 11. It's Addie O'Grady. A couple baskets early on. So Grady averaging five points per contest. 23-11 Hawks. Three minutes to go. First quarter. Here's a pass right side across the lane. Underneath puts it up. Reverse layup. Right hand on the left side. There by Sophie Zekin. Zekin, the 6'2 senior. Gets it back to a 10-point game. 23-13. Just under three minutes to play. First quarter. Fearbach in trouble. Gets rid of it to Davis. Right-handed dribble to the elbow. Now Dribbling it back out, Davis. Now Marshall has it top of the key. Hesitation dribble. Now looking for help with 10 on the shot clock. Bounce pass right side, Fuhrbach. Surveying. Has the ball knocked away. It's on the floor. Scrum for it. And two bodies on the floor. O'Grady and Velasco tied up. It'll be a jump ball. It'll be Bowling Green basketball with 2.35 to go here. The first Hawkeyes lead 23-13. to 13. Yeah, just, just kind of some, not sloppy, but just nobody was ready to make that shot or make a move to try to get the shot off there. Now, Caitlin comes back in. Hawkeyes up by 10, two and a half to go. Right side, Velasco up top. Left-handed hip high dribble to the left wing. Guarded by Caitlin. 15 on the shot clock. Bounce pass left side. O'Grady guarding Zekian all the way in. No good, but a late whistle comes after the rebound. And a little contact on the uh, shot on the arm, says the far side official. And going to lie to shoot two will be Sophie Zekan. Yeah, when I see calls like that, I, I try to stay the neutral zone and say he had a better vantage point than I did, but... It's all about angles sometimes, exactly. isn't it? <laughs> As Zekan just one of six from the free throw line so far. The first six games for Bowling Green, 16%. She knocks that one down. For 
The 14th point for Bowling Green, 23-14, 217 to go here in the first. It's a second one. Is no good. Off the mark left side. Rebound by Kate Martin. Clark over the timeline. Up top. Hesitation dribble. Dribbles to the left elbow now. They swing it right side. Davis has it. Thought about it. Now drives in. Baseline all the way in. Pass left side to Martin. Martin now. Baseline drive. Left-handed. Right hand on the left side. Up and good. Just beat her girl to the basket. Just a gritty play there by Kate Martin. Again, just has improved so much on that hard drive to the basket and getting the ball in for the easy two. Hawks by 11. 25-14. Under two minutes the play. Here's a hard bounce pass inside. Too hot to handle as Taya Ellis, the 6'1 freshman, could not corral that basketball from Toronto, Ontario with 1.47 to go here in the first quarter. 25-14. Hawkeyes lead. You can set up the best zone defense from home, heating up costs this winter as tune up your furnace. Seal up, seal up your drafts around your home and visit midamericanenergy.com to find more ways to keep warm with less energy mid american energy 25 14 one and a half to go on this first frame so hawkeyes have the 11 point lead clark right side caitlin with six points so far a deep three from downtown coralville that time no good a pinballs around o'grady has it back to clark for another deep one no good off the back of the rim rebounded by bowling green and back come the falcons Right side. This is a long distance three ball. That's no good off the backside by Morgan Sharps. Turning into a three point contest there for a bit. Bounce pass right side. O'Grady off the glass, rolls around and corrals on down. Nice assist again across the lane. The bounce pass by Caitlin. Yeah, and I think Caitlin probably could have taken that layup, but saw Addie O'Grady wide open. And I, I always say I think Caitlin Clark gets just as much joy out of a logo three as she does an assist to her post. Unselfish passing by Clark. Taylor McCabe, the 5'9", sophomore guard getting in there the last time out. She's in there now for the Hawks. There's a travel first before a pass in the middle of the lane. Driving was Paige Kohler with nowhere to go. 41 seconds to go in the first. 27-14. Hawkeyes the 13-point advantage for the Hawks. McCabe, Clark, Martin, O'Grady coming out, Goodman coming in, and Davis for the final 41 seconds to go here in the first. The 13-point advantage here, ninth game of the season. Hawkeyes coming in at 7-1, taking on non-conference opponent Bowling Green State University for the first time ever out of north central Ohio, just 20 miles southwest of Toledo is where Bowling Green is located. Up top is McCabe. Gabe dead with the basketball, now looking for help, gets it to Goodman. Great, great pass by Goodman across the lane, a cutting Caitlin Clark. Boy, <laughs> yes. great, great eye communication that time for their 29th point. And Sharon Goodman sure enjoyed that. Big smile. It's always great when you see one of your bigs get an assist to the guards. 29-14, under 10 seconds to play here in the first. Up top, Sharps drives, will pull up jumper from 14 feet. Got it to go outside the right side of the baseline. Here's a Three-quarters court short shot by Clark. Well off the mark. 29-16 after one quarter of play. Hawkeyes with the advantage. Hawkeye fans, today's sponsor, Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield, knows you are here for every fadeaway, every alley-oop. Every buzzer beater and Wellmark is here for every moment, too. With trusted health coverage, committed to making health care better, learn more at wellmark.com slash hoops. Hawkeyes lead by 13 as we move to the second quarter after this. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. 
Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. I'm wondering if it's like something to do with, uh, you know... Welcome back in to Carver Hawkeye Arena here in Iowa City. Hawkeyes lead by 13, 29, 16. We get ready to start the second quarter. John Swisher, Tiffany Reedy back with you courtside as they just announced <laughs> our special guests in the house uh, today as Sue Bird and uh, Jason Sudeikis. Of course, Jason Sudeikis, uh, famous from Saturday Night Live and his most recent uh, fame, uh, Ted Lasso. But uh, Caitlin Clark has built that great relationship with Sue and she's able to get to another game here front row across the way, across from the Bowling Green uh, bench. And uh, great to see uh, two uh, famed uh, people in attendance <laughs> here today with this great crowd. I mean, it's just wild to, to think that we have, you know, such – People of great, you know, fame and fortune here sitting sideline in Iowa. It's a lot of fun. No doubt about it. Hawkeyes get ready to start this second quarter with the basketball going left to right away from us. Davis, Clark, Martin, Goodman, and Marshall, the starting five for the Hawkeyes. Nice pass again on the baseline by Clark, but a travel called. Is not able to uh, get rid of the basketball soon enough. Martin didn't like it, but the baseline official made the call. How about the Hawkeyes? Ten assists in that uh, first quarter, Tiff. They averaged 12 per yeah. game. Again, when they move the ball around, when they find the open player, great things happen. That was impressive. 29-16, just start of the first quarter. Driving all the way in. Stop. Little flare up in the air off the right hand of Paige Kohler. The 5'8 freshman gets it to go. It's an 11-point Hawkeye advantage. 29-18. Clark has it up top. Driving left side. Low contact. Nothing called. Pass left side to Marshall. Up top to Davis. Under 20 in the shot clock. Here's Martin for a three. No good. Front side rebound. Tipped around. Pinballed into the hands of Morgan Sharps. And here comes Bowling Green. Here's a pull-up three. Left wing. That bounces around. No good. Out front. Rebound out of my mark. Up ahead to Davis. Molly. Left to right dribble. Across the lane. Avoids contact. Puts it up. Beautiful move with the left hand on the left side. Shimmy shaking in for <laughs> Molly Davis. Wow. What a move. Great shiftiness by Molly Davis. A 5'7". Guard from Midland, Michigan. 31-18. Hawkeyes with the advantage now. 8.45 and counting to go in this second quarter. Left corner. Here's a three. That's no good. Off the mark. Rebounded by Gabby Marshall. Attempted by Morgan Sharps. And back come the Hawkeyes. Here's a pass inside. Kind of forced that one. Caitlin as it is poked away by a defender. As Erica Porter got her hand on that one in front of Goodman. And this is going to be an offensive foul called on Bowling Green. As rushing in there was Paige Kohler. Good defense position by the Hawks to draw the offensive foul. Hawkeyes by three. 8.26 to go in the second quarter. And Clark had four assists in that first quarter. Two away from her record, which she set as a Hawkeye last weekend. It was six in one quarter. That's uh, being very unselfish exactly, when you're yep. assisting that much. There's a bounce pass. Good look. That, ooh, how was that? A foul. <laughs> Looked know. like contact from here, but must have got the ball, says the uh, baseline official from his angle anyway. Ball's tipped away. Now Martin comes up with, look what I found on the backside. <laughs> up and good. Uh, uh, Molly just sort of slid in there. This is maybe where her lack of height helped her and just snuck it over to Kate Martin, who put it up again strong on the backboard. Hawks by 15, 33-18, 7.50 to go in the second. Second quarter, sliding all the way in, putting it up is Velasco. No good, left is short, but a rebound by Bowling Green. 15 on the shot clock. Up top is Fleming, deep three there. That's no good. Off the front side, rebounded, corralled by Goodman. She gets it ahead, left side to Marshall. Gabby hands it off to Caitlin, extended left wing. Left side, thought about a deep one there, but now she'll just drive all the way in, puts it up, a little contact underneath, nothing called, but she gets it to go off the glass and good for Caitlin Clark. Up ahead, here is Fleming. That's going to be some contact on Gabby Marshall. She'll pick up a foul, and Fleming will go to the line, the 5'5 senior, to shoot free throws. 
as Fleming, first time at the free throw line, she's got six points. Scabby Marshall picks up her first foul of the afternoon. A falter comes back in. Sydney a falter, the 5'11 junior from Chicago. She joins Martin, Goodman, Marshall, and Clark. 35-18, 7.15 to go here in the second quarter of play. The first free throw is up and good off the right hand of Lexi Fleming. It's Fleming coming in, a 92% free throw shooter. She books the second one as well. Hawkeyes lead by 15 again, 35-20, and too much contact trying to guard Clark getting the basketball on the inbounds on Amy Velasco. Velasco picks up her first personal foul. Clark will get it inbounded. It's the team's second foul here in the second quarter for Bowling Green. Clark drives all the way in, puts it up, and gets it to go. Danced around in the back of the rim and fell on down. Caitlin gets another bucket. She's got 12. Yeah, she slices through that defense like butter. I mean, there is nobody who does it better in the game, men or women. So smooth. 37-20 up top. Driving in left hand, kicking it out. And now... Curran McGuff, a new face in there. Six-foot freshman from Dublin, Ohio. Throws it in. Traffic. Hawkeye steal away. Kate Martin down the court. Put it up. Off the window and good. Another bucket for Kate Martin as Martin now has eight points. The Hawkeyes have increased their lead. The largest of 19 now. 39-20. Six and a half to go. Second quarter. Right wing. Now a step aside three. And that goes right down the cylinder. Off the Right hand of Paige Kohler, the 5'8 guard. So Hawkeyes come back with it with a 39-23 advantage. Six minutes to go. Here's a deep one from downtown West Liberty. That's no good. Off the backside. Oh. Great rebound. Yes. Inside by a falter. Sydney, a falter, worked her way in there. She did. And on the left side, able to finish it, 41-23 Hawks. Grabbed that board and then transitioned over to the left side for the left-handed layup. Oh, Caitlin Clark with a block shot there. In the defensive end. Able to knock that ball away. Of course, Amy Velasco didn't agree, telling the official she got hit on the arm. As it'll be baseline inbounds underneath with the 19 on the shot clock here. 550 on the game clock in this first half of play. Hawkeyes advantage is 41-23. Little ring around the rosy there played by Velasco. Put it up left hand to pull up from seven feet. No good. Hawks have it. Clark all the way in, lost control of the ball, got it back and was lost away and off and running. Three on two, not able to finish it. Nice job by Kate Martin rushing down, might have affected that shot. Now a tie ball, and it's going to be Bowling Green basketball, but great hustle getting back on defense for the Hawks. We had a foul called, I should say, on the backside. Fierbach going to get whistled for a personal foul. Little reach in slap. Says the uh, far side official, Nakisha Thompson, to be baseline inbounds underneath for Bowling Green. 41 23 Hawks, 5 31 to go in the second period. Baseline inbounds, right wing, up top, left side. Here's a pull up three as Clark went for the steal, got behind her defender, Velasco. No good off the back side. Now, right side, Clark driving. Nice pass in the lane. Oh, Grady, contact coming. A foul there. And to the line for two will be O'Grady, 5.15 to go, 41.23. Time to step up out for a station identification. As we recognize all 25 stations on the Hawkeye Women's Basketball Network, you're listening to Hawkeye Women's Basketball. O'Grady misses the first one. She'll have one more. Hawks lead 41-23. 5.15 to go. In this second period, gets the second one to fall right through. Back to 19. 42-23. That's been the largest lead. And now what do we have? Whistles called here. Subs yeah, still sure. coming in, apparently. Okay. Coach Shamil wants to get a sub in here, and that is number 11, Taya Ellis, a 6-1 freshman to hustle in and inbound it. With 5.15 to go here in the second. Bringing it up is Amy Velasco. 5'7", junior. 
Up top, Fleming. Handoff for a three. Left side, no left, it's short. Air balls and out of bounds by Sharps. And it will be tipped from the left wing right in front of us. I was blocked by the official. Oh. And a media timeout coming here. So it will be Bowling Green baseline inbounds underneath when we return. 4.59 to go in the second quarter, 42-23. Is your small business ready for a big promotion? Well, to support and celebrate small businesses, United Healthcare and Hawkeye Athletics are teaming up for the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio promotions, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit HawkeyeSports.com slash UHC. United Healthcare is a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Hawks lead 42 23, 459 to go in the second quarter. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week, it's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye Women's Basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Hawkeyes lead 42-23. The popular dance cam right now. They keep showing Sue Bird and Jason Sudeikis. They uh, hope to get a a little clip of them, but they're not getting much reaction right now. I said cheerleaders doing a routine. Oh, he's hey, he is up. There he is. <laughs> Sudeikis doing a little. Oh, he is doing a full dance, <laughs> a full jig. How about that? <laughs> As Jason Sudeikis pleasing the home yes. crowd here. Ted Lasso at his <laughs> finest, huh? That Pleasing the home crowd is putting it mildly. That was a hoot. <laughs> that was what I call a hoot and a half. The Hawks playing well <laughs> right here. What are you really liking that's standing out to you right now, Tiff? Oh, one thing I'm seeing is we are totally crushing Bowling Green on the board. We've got 20 rebounds to their eight. We continue to pass the ball. We've got those 12 assists. Um, whereas Bowling Green, we are stifling them. They have three assists, seven turnovers. Um, you know, they're shooting poorly. They're taking some bad shots. But our defense is very strong right now. They are cutting, passing, cutting, screening. We're communicating and really stifling them on offense. Hawkeyes coming in, 43 rebounds per game. Bowling Green just 36. As uh, Tiffany said, 12-point favorite in that column right now. 12-rebound uh, favorite in that column, 20-8. to eight. Here is Bowling Green with the basketball after the timeout. 4.50 to go in the second. Here's a left wing three. Fleming no good off the backside. Pinballed around. Going to be out of bounds. Last touch by Bowling Green. Off the hand of Taya Ellis. And the Hawkeyes have the basketball on the floor. O'Grady, Davis, a falter. Caitlin Clark who's bringing the ball up now. And Fierbach, the 5-4. Coach Bluter and the Hawkeyes. Left side handoff to Davis up top. Four and a half to go in this second quarter. 42-23. This ball's knocked away. Trying to get it to Caitlin Clark. Was Davis all the way in. Off the window and good by Lexi Fleming. Quick little guard. Just read the pass that time. Yeah, I think sometimes when you get yourself a a solid lead, it's easy to kind of be a little bit lackadaisical, but that's when you just shake it off and move on. Pass inside a falter. (laughs) Moving on, indeed. Moving on, moving on up. As O'Grady with a basket underneath, able to finish on another great assist by a falter. Good court vision. Hawkeyes back by 19. Their largest lead 45 44 25. There's a little floater in the lane. It curls around and heads on down off the right hand of Morgan Sharps as it's 44 27. Another backside pass. Great look by Clark. A falter got behind the defense. Lays it up and in. 46 27. Hawks under four minutes to play in the first half. Up top with it. 
is Velasco. Guarded by Davis, number one on number one here. Pass right side to Fleming. Yeah. Up top with it is Velasco. Guarded by Davis, number one on number one here. Pass right side to Fleming. Now right wing inside, losing the basketball as Ellis gets it on the left side, putting it up and contact coming. And going to the line will be Erica Porter, the six-foot senior from West Windsor, New Jersey, transfer from Notre Dame. Sharon Goodman will check back in. O'Grady will head out. O'Grady had some solid minutes there. She's sitting at nine points, shooting perfectly from the field, four for four in just seven minutes of play. So lots to be proud of so far with her work. 46-27, Hawks 325 to go in the second. First free throw is up and good off the right hand of Erica Porter. As Porter coming in just 22% from the free throw line so far this season, two of nine. In that category, makes the second one as well. So 100% today for Erica Porter. And the Hawkeyes with the 17-point advantage now, 46-29. 3.15 to go here in the second frame. Right side, hesitation dribble. Now baseline drive, kicking out is Clark. Goodman for the jumper from the right elbow. No good for the backside rebound. Look what I found again by a falter. <laughs> Sneaky, Sydney. She kind of <laughs> slid around the back to get that rebound and put it back up. 48-29, little floater from the baseline by Sparks. By uh, Sharps, no good. Rebounded. Gets batted out top. Sharps for a three. Air balls that one. And rebound by Goodman. Up ahead, right side. Fearbach puts it on the floor. Drives in. Offensive foul. The defender was there just outside the shell and the offensive foul. Yeah, I think that was probably a good call. I, I, you know, it's tricky down there to see exactly where the player was. But she... she Fierbach didn't quite seem on balance. It was maybe kind of little, a little out of control. Though I will say, when she drives like that, I, I, I love it. She's, she's athletic, and she has such a quick first step. 48-29, Hawks, 2.40 to go here in the second quarter. Up top with it is Sharps, guarded by a falter. Right wing, Fleming. Between the legs dribble on drives in. That's a carrier, a travel, mm -hmm. but nothing called. They let that one go inside. No good left short on the right side with the right hand by Erica Porter. Good defense there affecting that one down low was Goodman. Here's McCabe entering the game moments ago. Taylor McCabe, the 5'9 sophomore from Fremont, Nebraska, back in. McCabe, a little turnaround move, puts it up. No good left it short right side and rebounded by Bowling Green. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. 48-29. Hawkeyes have the advantage. Step back. Thought about a three for Kohler. Gives it up. Here's Fleming. She's not afraid to shoot it. Rattles around and goes on down by Lexi Fleming. Another three for her. That is her third of the ball game. She's got 13 now. She has the automatic green light, it appears. Huh? She does, and and actually, she's uh, her, she's a solid three point player. Uh, has 125 three pointers and ranking her 16th on her school list. So we don't want to lose track of her tonight. As to, a, this afternoon. Yeah, that's right. Me. Hey, that's the first time we <laughs> both of us have messed up. You know what happens when you get in this environment? Unless yeah. you look through the uh, way up top, you can see the uh, light uh, daylight outside. But a, a pass inside. Goodman shuffles the feet. The track called and we come back the other way 48 32 a minute and a half to go in the second quarter up top with it is Velasco Velasco gives it up right side to Kohler balls bad away a falter and then a foul coming on Paige Kohler who just turned it over good aggressiveness again active hands jumping in the passing lane is Sydney a falter yeah, just again showing her athleticism, kind of tipped the ball and then sky jumped to grab it out of the air. You know, I think her nickname might be the big dog, and <laughs> there's a reason for that. She is tough. 48-32. one fifteen to go here in the second quarter. Clark over the timeline, bounce pass to Martin. Kate, left-handed, knee-high dribble. Now handoff to a falter. Back to Kate. Martin now, left side, left elbow is Goodman. 
Sharon passes up top to Clark. That's a defender right on her. Step back, now gives it left side to Marshall. She drives in the left wing. Gabby, hesitation dribble, bounce pass right side. It's a falter. 50 seconds to go with four on the shot clock. Clark from Deep City, no good. Off the backside, rebounded all the way out near the left wing by Fleming inside. This ball swatted out of there by Kate and Martin as putting it up was Velasco. And Martin almost... Uh, Tattoo that one. Yeah, not in Kate Martin's house wow. this afternoon. Wow. 48-32. <laughs> She's got her game face on. Almost sent that one to Williamsburg. <laughs> she got up and swatted it big time. Velasco, baseline inbounds underneath. Left side, left wing. This is Sharps. Gives it up, knocked away momentarily by Clark, but getting it back is Velasco. With 15 on the shot clock, Fleming drives. Marshall on her. Up top, here's a deep three with a hander faced by Martin, by uh, Clark, I should say. Velasco missed it, and the Hawks will come back with it with the final 20 seconds to go here in the first half, leading 48 to 32. Up top with it is Davis. Under 10 seconds to play. Not guarding her is Sharps. Now Davis drives left wing. All the way in, kicks it out. Clark thought about the three. Now she'll drive in. No time on the clock. She's going to run out of time. Can't get the shot off. And that's the way our first half will come to a close. The Hawkeyes with the 16-point lead. They led by as much as 19 a few times in that first half. 48 to 32. The Hawkeyes with the advantage. As our proud sponsor, U.S. Cellular is built for the Hawkeyes. They're built for great interceptions and better reception. Watching touchdowns instead of touch screens and waving before streaming. After all, game day only comes once a week. U.S. Cellular built for us. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative is proud to be the presenting sponsor of Hawkeye women's basketball all season long. Empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Learn more at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. 48-32, Hawkeyes at the halftime break. We'll uh, dissect this one down, take a look at the numbers when we come back on the halftime show. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's traveling to the holiday family dinner in an efficient Accord hybrid, or heading to a hike to burn it off in a powerful CRV hybrid. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Accord Hybrid and a 2024 CRV Hybrid. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknall is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknall.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Yeah. Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bose, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. 
on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball, brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. High V, score big savings with the new High V Perks membership. Iowa Lottery, be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. And by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Now back to Courtside. Inside Carver Hawkeye Arena, 48-32. Hawkeyes with a 16-point advantage. This non-conference affair against Bowling Green State University. As uh, time now for the halftime show, brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy Bud Light. And it's time for our halftime stats report, brought to you by High V. Score big savings with the all new, totally free High V Perks membership. And Tiff, the Hawkeyes doing a great job, and they uh, lead several categories in stats with a six point, 16 point lead after two quarters of play. Yeah, for sure. They're obviously shooting very well, shooting 61% in the first half and 40% behind the three-point line. They are led by Caitlin Clark with 12 points, two rebounds, five assists, just one shy of her record for assist in a quarter. Um, Kate Martin uh, having a strong game so far, eight points, two rebounds, two assists. Uh, Sydney Falter, eight points, four rebounds, two assists. Gabby Marshall, six points off of two three-pointers. Molly Davis with five points, two rebounds, and three assists. And Addison O'Grady has maximized her time in just under seven minutes with nine points and two rebounds. The Hawks are out rebounding Bowling Green 25 to 13. 14 assists. Uh, need to maybe take care of the ball a little bit better. They do have 11 turnovers. For Bowling Green, they are led by Lexi Fleming. 13 points, four rebounds, four and nine from the field, and three from six behind the three point line. We know she can be a threat there. Um, Paige Kohler with five points, one rebound. And then sort of a rounded out uh, numbers, Olivia Hill, three points, one rebound. Erica Porter, two points, one rebound. And uh, Amy Valesco, two points, one rebound. Megan Sharps rounding it out with four. So much less ball movement on Bowling Green's behalf. They have four assists. They're taking care of the ball. They have eight turnovers. But really, the Hawkeyes held them in the second quarter. They shot 23% field goal percentage and 22% behind the line. So really sort of stifled their offense. No doubt about it. And uh, major... Uh, factor there when you look at points from in the paint. Hawkeyes yeah. dominating 34 to 10 and those was a bench points. Bench doing a good job, 17 to 7. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think probably our listeners get annoyed because my key to the game is always get the ball inside, whether it's from the post, whether it's driving, but obviously when we get the ball inside, when we move it around, amazing things happen and we just witness are witnessing, again, textbook vintage Iowa women's basketball today. No doubt about it. 48-32 at halftime. Eight and a half to go in uh, the halftime break as you can join the Iowa Lottery VIP Club and enter to win tickets to see sold-out Iowa women's basketball with the countdown to Carver promotion. Play a Hawkeye Gold scratch tickets today. A timeout. We're back with more at halftime here from Carver Hawkeye Arena. This is women's basketball from Learfield. Want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Escape to Italy and Sicily in September 2024 with travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited. Enjoy this melting pot of multicultural customs and cuisine and beautiful landscapes. After taking in Rome, we'll head down to the dramatic Sorrento coast and then journey from Italy's heel to its toe of Sicily. To learn more about this or any vacation, contact travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited at duagency.com. That's duagency.com. 
there's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's traveling to the holiday family dinner in an efficient Accord hybrid, or heading to a hike to burn it off in a powerful CRV hybrid. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Accord hybrid and a 2024 CRV hybrid. So see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. John Swisher, Tiffany Reedy, back with you. From Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hawkeyes lead by 16 over Bowling Green, 48-32 at the halftime break. Time for a U.S. Bank scoreboard update elsewhere in Big Ten play. Drake is beating Minnesota 29-23 up in Minneapolis with uh, five to go in the second quarter in that contest. Michigan being edged by Harvard 17-15, almost the uh, end of quarter number one. And later on this afternoon, Two o'clock, Nebraska will host Georgia Tech. The other game that uh, is on all the uh, a lot of the minds and hearts of Hawkeye fans everywhere, of course. Tonight, a little thing called the Big Ten Championship. Hawkeyes taking on the Wolverines of uh, Michigan, the uh, third Big Ten title. The Hawkeyes have competed in under Coach Ferentz since 2015. 717 kickoff time from Lucas Oil Stadium tonight, 5 o'clock on the pregame from the Hawkeye Radio Network as uh, Hawkeyes try to uh, shock the world and uh, knock off Coach mm-hmm. Harbaugh and company, and uh, you, you just hope they come out and, and play well and give themselves the chance. Of course, it's uh, always the hope for any team, and they've had some great magic this year in that 10-2 and two season. Why not another exactly. close, down-to-the-wire win tonight in exactly. Indy to, to just shock everybody, huh? Yeah, I, I just watched the uh, press conference. What was the, the, the quote by Coach Ferentz? We've got great colors. It's easy to spell. That's right. <laughs> All the reasons why we should be you know, winning today and in any event, either way, any way the chips fall, it's, it's great to be in that game. And um, obviously our Hawk fans love it. And I'm sure they're there in the throngs in, in, in Indianapolis. Is that? Yeah. In Indianapolis, okay. yeah. Lucas Oil Stadium, hold uh, the uh, Indianapolis Colts as the uh, Hawkeyes at halftime here have the 16-point lead. Another timeout. We get closer to the start of the third quarter. 48-32, Hawkeyes lead. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. 
Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more to keep corn growing Iowa. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. John Swisher, former Hawkeye Tiffany Reedy, back with you. 48-32, Hawkeyes have the advantage at halftime. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is responsible for our community, being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments. From state volleyball, wrestling, tennis, and much more, the Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at We got next dot or Hawkeyes with the 16 point advantage here at halftime and it's great to see as you mentioned uh, 10 assists in that first quarter and 14 now in the uh, first half just the unselfishness yep. just uh, sharing the basketball not worrying of course about uh, points and uh, Caitlin Clark uh, leading the way in uh, assists so far with uh, five so really sharing the ball seeing great court vision here yep. a few other things to clean up here to uh, put this team away in the second half but uh, a good first half for sure I think you know moving that ball around is is a key to our success as a team um, um, yeah, we have we have some turnovers, 11 turnovers. I think we've had maybe two or three offensive fouls. So, you know, obviously that's going to count as a turnover. Um, I think as the Hawks come out here in the second half, you have a, a sizable lead, but it's not a, a nail in the coffin by any means. They need to stay focused and continue to execute. Um, every game counts. Every game gives them an opportunity to get better, and they need to really utilize that for the second half. Uh, for the most part, have your keys to the game come true in this first half and what Coach Bluter had uh, talked about? Of course. Uh, <laughs> As always, right? Yeah, because I I just, my basketball IQ is through the roof, but obviously when your key to the game is get the ball inside, get the ball to the hoop, and that's exactly what they're doing. I'm going to say I, I, I nailed it. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Again, 34 to 10 in paint points. We're underway in the second half of play. Inside the third quarter, Bowling Green will get it going left to right. Here's a quick tree, three, no good from the left side. It's pinballed around and out of bounds. It'll stay Bowling Green basketball. Kate Martin battling for the ball. Coach Bluter saying that uh, her player got uh, hit there, but nothing doing. Yeah, she had uh, the position and definitely was boxing out well. As baseline inbounds, now left side to Lexi Fleming. Right side, top up top to Amy Velasco with eight on the shot clock driving in. Velasco looking for help. Five seconds, he kicks it out even further near the logo. Right side, here's Fleming. Stops, pops, right side, no good. Hits the side of the backboard and a shot clock violation there. Good defense by the Great Hawkeyes. Defense. There was a moment there where um, Goodman got was on switched on a screen and was on a small gal, and they switched back and and ultimately caused the shot cock violation. As Caitlin brings it up over the timeline, bounce pass to Davis, back to Caitlin, double team up near the half court line. Got rid of it before she stepped over the stripe. There is a drive from the left side. Great aggressive move by Kate Martin on the left side. She saw she had her defender where she wanted her, took that lane to the hoop and gets another basket. Kate Martin now has 12 in the afternoon. And she's making it look very easy today. All the way in, fighting through Gabby Marshall was the 5'7 uh, guard, Amy Velasco. Back to 16, 50, 34. Largest lead in that second half that occurred, uh, first half that occurred a few times. Hawkeyes head by as much as 19. Here's a step back, three ball, no good by Caitlin. Rebounded by Molly Davis, and she's tripped. 
Right in front of us by Paige Kohler. Incidental contact falling down, losing her balance was uh, Kohler and fell right on the back of the foot of Davis. Thankfully, she appears to be yeah. okay. We were When we were in Florida, I was nervous the whole time about being on top of the ice hockey rink. So um. I get a little nervous about <laughs> when I see a gal on the floor. And there's Vice pass again. Beautiful assist right across the lane to Goodman, who finishes it. Caitlin Clark with another perfect assist. Easy assist there. And Sharon Goodman's having an excellent game, keeping control of the ball. Left side with it. Now driving to the all the way in, ring around the Rosie there, and Caitlin Clark cut her off and <laughs> knocked the ball out of bounds as driving was Paige Kohler, and Clark wasn't fooled by her going all the way around the lane and towards the basket on the right side. 14 on the shot clock, 8-11 on the game clock, 52-34 Hawks by 18. Left side, survey is Sharps. Back up top with it is Velasco. Velasco, right side, five on the shot clock, drives in. Gabby gets in front of her, a little left-handed <laughs> up and wow. in there by Velasco. Step through, across from Marshall, <laughs> got it to go. Here's a pass inside, Goodman from Marshall. Nice reverse layup, left hand on the right side. Oh. Sharon Goodman. <laughs> The pride of Decora gets She's it to go. And shaking and slithering underneath the basket wow. for an easy two. 54 36. Driving in. Velasco kicking it out top. This is Fleming. Behind the back dribble. Fancy move all the way in. Put it up. Deflected away by Martin. Goodman comes away with it. Up ahead to Caitlin. Stop. Pop for the three ball. No good. Too strong. And. Behind the backboard, over top the backboard, and out of bounds. It'll be Bowling Green basketball. Hawkeyes lead 54-36. I'll tell you one thing that, I, that I've that i seen in the last couple games that I'm really liking is this Addie O'Grady, Sharon Goodman, right? They, they're, they're splitting time to some effect, but they're both maximizing their time on the court. And maximizing, taking advantage of getting on the court because of Hannah Stolke being exactly. out the last three games. And it'll only be great uh, down the stretch, uh, down the run. You never know what's going to happen later on in the season to get that experience and just continuing to get that game-like experience exactly. for those three uh, ladies inside. Ball knocked out of bounds. Bowling Green will have it. Amy Velasco with 12 on the shot clock backside. Hawks a uh, little breakdown there defensively as Zekan, who hasn't been in in a while, sneaks in there. Backside gets the easy layup, 54-38. Hawkeyes come back with it with Clark. Up top, guarded by Velasco. Here's Davis now. Fleming has her inside pass. Turn around, got it up, and contact underneath. Kate Martin will go to the line. Shoot too frustrated with herself that she couldn't get that ball over the lip of the rim for a three-point play opportunity, but she'll go to the line to shoot too. Yeah, it's kind of a beast post move down low by Kate Martin. Nice fancy footwork there. Oh, yeah. By Kate, the six-foot grad student guard gets the first free throw to go. She'll have one more. Kate Martin with 11 points. Two of two. Well, one of uh, two. I spoke too soon. No good. Rattles her out the right side. Rebound mounted by Zekan. Hawkeyes lead 55 38. Six and a half to go here in this third quarter. Up top with it is Olivia Hill, one of the starters for Bowling Green. Five and one team. Out of the MAC. Pick no number four in the MAC conference this year. Right wing with six on the shot clock near travel. Fans wanted it. Nothing called. Step back three. You no know, good. Out the back side. Off the right hand of Lexi Fleming. As Kate Martin skies for the rebound. Davis up ahead to Goodman. Inside. Just goes over her fingertips and out of bounds. Couldn't hang on to it in traffic with two defenders. Coach Bluter telling her, slow down. Take yeah. your time. <laughs> catch the basketball. The fundamentals. Yep. She's got it. She knows it. Uh, you know, Sharon Goodman's obviously incredibly smart. She, I can't remember what the award was that she won during the NCAA tournament with the highest GPA. So she knows when she needs to make adjustments. I spoke uh, wrong earlier. Lime Spring, uh, Springs, Iowa, the yes. pride of Crestwood <laughs> High School in Cresco, 
There is Sharon Goodman, covered her in high school a few years back in a regional final. There's a drive inside, twisting, turning, putting it up over Goodman, up off the glass, and good. That time is Zekan, Sophie Zekan, the 6'2 senior. Hawks up by 15. Here's Caitlin all the way in, taking over as Caitlin off the glass and good. Knew her team needed a bucket there and got one. Yeah, and knew that she's, you know, cooled off a little bit from the three-point line, so took it in for an easy two. All the oh. way in. There's contact. Thought she got all ball. Yeah. And from behind, the far side official calls the personal foul on Caitlin. Lexi Fleming, the 5'5 senior guard, will go to the line as Fleming with 13 points so far, two of two from the stripe this afternoon. 57-40, Hawks by 17, 5'24-5 to go here in this third quarter. Up one, first one is up and rattles around, kisses the window and falls on down for the first free throw good. Working together is how you win. That's why Mid-American Energy's roster of wind, solar, and other energy sources works together to keep your service safe and reliable. 24-7. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. Second one is good as well. 57-42. Back to 15. Clark goes all the way in. Little floater off the window and good. Up and over a defender and gets another easy two. There you see that beautiful touch that she has. Just an, a, an ability to sort of adapt and make make a take a light shot to the hoop left side with it is hill hit a left short corner this is z can all the way in off the glass and good over ali o'grady addy o'grady who just checked in moments ago 59 44 back to 15 here's clark out to marshall abby has been fairly quiet today has six points two of four from the field and has a couple of three pointers as well Right side, Clark, they swing it left wing. There's contact there, a little body contact underneath call by the near side official, Ali O'Grady, or uh, Molly Davis driving, and the foul call on Paige Kohler, and we'll have a media timeout. Four and a half to go in the third quarter, 59-44, Hawkeyes with the lead. Dodge Street Tire and Auto, locally owned and operated and voted best of the area for the 10th consecutive year, proudly supports Iowa women's basketball. Trust Dodge Street Tire for honest auto repair and the best deals on Goodyear and Toyota tires. Dodge Street uh, Tire and Auto that's celebrating 30 good years on the corner of Dodge and Church Streets. As 4.30 to go in the third quarter, 59-44 Hawkeyes with the lead. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Did you know that UI ranks near the top of the EPA's Green Power Leaderboard? With 84% of our energy coming from renewable sources. Now you can be a part of the team that makes it happen. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, our partner in a collaborative, NG North America, is now offering part-time, on-campus positions where you can get hands-on, career-inspiring experience in sustainable utility systems management. Check out the jobs and apply now at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. And Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the eastern Iowa airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit the hotel at Kirkwood.com. Fifty-nine 
59-44, Hawkeyes with a 15-point lead, 4.30 to go. In this third quarter of play, and continuing to do some good things offensively here as Bowling Green can't get over that little hump. The Hawkeyes are doing a good enough job uh, defensively as well, but uh, we'll need to ratchet up a little bit here yep. offensively. <laughs> yep, slowed down a little bit this quarter um, offensively. You know, still shooting the ball well, but just not kind of getting the numbers that we're used to. We're at 11 points right now for the quarter. We'll see what the rest of the quarter brings us. Baseline inbounds on an eighth. Great pass by Caitlin. <laughs> a falter off the window and good contact from behind. Called on Olivia Hill. And a falter goes the line to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Again, just a great look. Caitlin knew where a falter was going to be, and she did her job. Yeah, I love it when I say, we're slowing down on offense, and then they immediately <laughs> come out of the timeout with an and one. You're okay They're being wrong in that situation. Exactly. There right? you go. 61-44, no good on the free throw, rebounded by the Falcons. 4.20 to go here in the third. Up top with it is Velasco. Now right side is Sharps. Bounce pass in the baseline against O'Grady. Ball knocked away. Good job by Falter coming in and knocking that one away from Zekan. And it's going to be a jump, jump ball. Again, great hustle on the baseline by a Falter. She gets up slowly, yeah. but she appears to be okay. Great hustle. But I want to point out for our listeners, she tapped the ball away, ended up, up on the ground, reached around behind Ooh. her to get her hand on the ball to tie it up and obviously gain the Hawkeyes' possession. Great look there and just a... Uh, Hustler there by yeah. Sydney a Falter, the 5'11 junior from Chicago. 61 44, under four minutes to play here in this third frame. A Falter, right side of Martin, right corner, back to Sydney, right wing, back up top to Clark. Caitlin, left handed, hip high dribble. Now a skip pass to the right corner. Martin, baseline drive, nice pass inside. O'Grady can't get it to go, but she gets her own rebound. She's hit on the arm. Will go to the line to shoot two. Great job by O'Grady, battling inside. Yeah, that was a great pass from the baseline three-point uh, area, but to Kate Martland inside. Um, but again, what I love about Addie is seeing her improvement this season. Gets her own rebound and continues to muscle it up there. 61-44 as the free throw up and right through for Addy O'Grady. O'Grady, 10 points on the afternoon. She's two of three from the free throw line and spins around, pops out of the second one, rebounded by Hill for Bowling Green. Up ahead, left side, quick trigger three, deep one, no good, left short, front side rebound. Now it lends up at the right wing. Bowling Green has it. Here's another three, and that's good. Morgan Sharps again, who just attempted that previous one, as Sharps gets a three. That's her first of the game. She's got nine points. 62-47, a falter free throw line. Right side, O'Grady. Now the cut and the pass. Beautiful job, O'Grady, to a falter again. I don't know if you noticed this, but Addie almost directed. Yes, Cindy a little head the, nod. Was like, yes. Get there. I saw that I head nod. Like, to you. Hello, you should be <laughs> cutting there. There's a, a fadeaway shot, little floater inside, left short. He tapped, uh, lost out of bounds with Bowling Green, Hawkeye basketball. And that's that communication without communicating, there the little go. eye contact. Yeah. It helps from getting a lot of playing time in practice and game situations. Yep. Yeah, it was it was fun to watch. When for you sure. know what each other is thinking, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's a good thing on the court. As Davis pushes the basketball left side. Here's Martin over the timeline. Molly has it. Hawks 64 47. 240 to go here in the third. Bounce pass between the legs of the defender, it appeared, from our angle. Fierbach bounce pass left side. O'Grady saves it from going out of bounds. Davis in the corner. Inside to Martin. Turn around. Jumper put up, but fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot, too. A good, good post moves yeah. there. A drop step towards the middle of the lane. A little fadeaway jumper from six feet out, and she earns herself a trip to the line for two. Yeah, she's finding those sort of that power post up play to be very effective this year. And she's either getting the and one, getting fouled, getting to the line. All good things for Kate Martin. 10 point, 11 points on the afternoon. Make it 12. It's Kate Martin now. Two of three for the free throw line here today. 65-47, two and a half to go on the third. Free throw is up and right through. 66-47.
Hawkeyes with the advantage. Two and a half to go in this third quarter of play. Up top with it is Velasco. Handoff. It's Martin guarding Sharps. Now back left side to Fleming. Fleming step back, guarded by Fierbach. Up top with it is Velasco. Drives left side. Eight on the shot clock. Bounce pass. Now Fleming goes all the way to the right side. Good defense by Fierbach. Puts it up three seconds. No good off the back side. Didn't touch the rim, but a good job by Fleming getting in there. And tied up there. Stop on the whistle. <laughs> and uh, Coach uh, is not happy with a little push after the fact by a falter. Yeah, some pushing, <laughs> some shoving there. I would say both sides. Yep, Coach uh, Shamil. Saw the last one, but nothing uh, doing here. Well, Coach Bluter voicing her opinion to the officials. A timeout on the floor. 66-47, 1.59 to go. We'll take it with them as this is a timeout as the Hawkeyes have the advantage 66-47. Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Did you know that UI uses the same amount of energy as all the rest of Iowa City? That's why we have our own power plant, and we're committed to making it clean. By 2025, we'll rely completely on climate-friendly, alternative fuels. Deep in the boiler rooms, engineers from the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative are optimizing the power plant so it can handle these new fuels more efficiently. Learn more about it at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. That's UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. 159 to go in the third period, 66-47. Hawkeyes, the advantage over Bowling Green, and they continue to do well inside, 48-20 to in the paint, and it's uh, being aggressive, it's uh, unselfish passing, seeing the court a little uh, head nod, no communication needed yep. for those easy baskets here, and getting themselves to the uh, free throw line here. Yeah, I mean... There's no doubt about it. When you see our stat lines and you've got a falter with 12 points, four rebounds, Martin with 13 points, three rebounds. Um, you, you keep going. Caitlin obviously is, is quieter for her with 16 points, two rebounds, seven assists. Uh, Addison O'Grady, 10 rebounds. I mean, everybody is contributing. And I will say, and I'm sure Coach Bluter will mention this in her post game, right? The defense is really creating offense for us as well. No doubt about it. And free throw line, six of 10 for 60% so far in this game. Hawkeyes do have uh, 14 turnovers, which they come in averaging per contest. Bowling Green with 10 bench points. 22 to 16 Hawks, 15 to 7 in fast break, and second chance points in the Hawks' favor as well, 12 to 5. 159 to go here in this third quarter, 66 47. The advantage for the Hawkeyes on this Saturday afternoon, almost full house here from Carver. Special guest with Sue Bird and Jason Sudeikis in the house. There's a pass ahead by Martin as the Hawkeyes breaking the press all the way in and good by a falter. They caught off guard Bowling Green that time. Martin with the assist. Left side with it is Velasco. Now left corner, getting rid of it is Hill. Back to Velasco, left wing, 15 on the shot clock. Davis guarding Velasco, 68-47. 
The lead of 21 now, the largest of the game. Here's a three from the top of the key. No good. Off the mark left side. Davis goes and gets it. Molly brings it up over the timeline. 120 and counting. Here's a falter right to left. Stops left side of the lane. Little jumper, 15 footer. Goodman knocks it down. Money. Money right there by Sharon Goodman and a great pass by Sydney Falter. 70 47. Hawkeyes starting to open it up now with the 23 point advantage, their largest. Left side with it is Fleming. 14 of the shot clock. Left block. Put it up. No good. Air balled. Out the uh, in line. Go out of bounds. Nobody touched it. Hawkeye basketball. McCabe and Clark come back in for the Hawks. Taylor McCabe has seen four minutes of play in this game. Davis and Fierbach will take a seat with the 70-47 lead. 50 seconds to go until the third quarter break. Here's Clark driving all the way and has it knocked away, but right into the hands of McCabe in the right wing. Now Falter has it up top. Martin surveying from the top of the key. Left side of McCabe. Taylor sends it inside to Goodman. Left block extended. Nice bounce pass in the lane. Beautiful assist again. Martin with the finish. Oh, I just love it. I just cannot get enough of this type style of basketball. 25-point lead now. Here's a long three. No good by Fleming. And it goes out the end line out of bounds. 21.4 on the clock here in the third. 72-47. Substitution here is Gabby Marshall. Will come back in. As Kate Martin will come out for a breather. As the third quarter winds down. Clark gets it to Marshall. Now back to Caitlin to bring it up. 15 seconds to go in quarter number three. Caitlin guarded by Velasco. Right side with seven seconds. Now trapped in the corner, throws it, trying to throw it out of bounds off the Bowling oh, Green player and oh, can't get it done. We go the other way. Bowling Green basketball turnover there. Just trapped in that far corner yeah. right near the half court line. Did the old throw the ball off yep. the opponent's leg and it got her leg and then out of bounds. 72-47, six minutes to play in the third. Right side. This is Kohler. Jumper, top of the key, no good. Off the mark right side. The Hawks lead by 25 going to the fourth quarter. University of Iowa Healthcare has a game plan for your same day healthcare needs. If you need treatment for a common illness or minor injury, visit one of several UI quick care or urgent care locations throughout the Iowa City Cedar Rapids corridor. Their care and expertise will help you get you back in the game. UI Healthcare is proud to sponsor your Iowa Hawkeyes. 72-47. Fourth quarter on the way. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% .9 reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions, cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye Women's Basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. 
72-47 as we get ready to start the fourth quarter of play. Hawkeyes starting to push the issue and pull away from Bowling Green. We take a station ID break. 25 stations across the Hawkeye Women's Basketball Network from Learfield. You are listening to Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Along with former Hawkeye Tiffany Reedy, John Swisher in for Rob Brooks on this Saturday afternoon as Rob is in Indy getting ready for Hawkeye football later on tonight with Dolph and Eddie and the Hawkeye Radio Network for Hawkeye football against Michigan. Hawkeyes come out here on defense to start this fourth quarter of play as Velasco has it up top. Right side with it. Between the legs dribble is Fleming. Left side driving in. Here's a left wing three up and no good. Rebound out the front side by Caitlin Clark. Clark brings it up over the timeline. Baseball pass inside. Goodman turnaround move. Left handed jump hook. Got it up and good. Good post move I there. Just, if the fans could see me, listeners, <laughs> I'm shaking my hands because I love the efficiency in the footwork by Sharon Goodman. It's just boom, boom, in and up for the easy two. So fundamental, so sound, <laughs> yes. and perfect execution. Bounce pass inside. Left hand on the left side. No good. Hits the backboard. Goodman affected that shot, and she gets the rebound. And she's got nine rebounds tonight, so she is really hitting the boards as well. Deep three. Clark, no good. Off the front of the rim. Rebound chased down by Fleming. Back comes Bowling Green, 74-47. The largest lead for the Hawks continues to climb. 8.50 to go here in the fourth period. Between the legs, dribble. Right side with it is Kohler. Right corner for a three. That's no good. Air ball out the backside by Fleming. Right into the hands of Kate Martin. And Kate brings it up. Up top, driving left side. Kicks it out. A falter. Thought about a three. Inside of Goodman. Again, good work, but it rolls off the front of the rim. Just left it a little short that time. Behind the back, dribble. Kohler all the way in. Contact coming on Gabby Marshall. Will be two shots here for Paige Kohler. Five points on the afternoon. No free throws yet for Kohler. She'll attempt her first two here. And I know Bowling Green has has struggled shooting, you know, their 6 of 25 from behind the three-point line. But one thing they do do really well is really stretch themselves out. They continue to try to get to the hoop, sort of elongate themselves and slither in, draws a foul and occasionally a, a layup. So I think that's one thing that they definitely have going for them today. Kohler coming in. An 81% free throw shooter on the season in the first six games, 17 of 21. The right-hander puts it up. It rattles around and goes on down. The 5'8 freshman from Olmstead Falls, Ohio. She'll have one more. 74, 48, 825 to go in the fourth quarter. Second one is up and right through. 74, 49. Molly Davis comes back in. Kate Martin will take a breather. A falter's in there, along with Gabby Marshall, Caitlin Clark, and Sharon Goodman. Gabby gets it to Molly, and she'll bring it up the floor. Davis will be picked up by Sharps. Now gets to falter. Sydney Clark for a three. Got it. A little contact after the fact. And got it to go for Caitlin Clark. She's been wanting to have one to finally go she down, has. and there it is. And she loves nothing more than the off-balance three. That's what really gets her going, is when she can get that off-balance three-pointer several steps behind the three-point line. The little Michael Jordan tongue yes. out at the end yes. as well. Here's a... Uh, Layup on the left side, left short by Kohler. Rebounded by Clark. Here's another three. No good. Rims out right side. Behind the back dribble over the timeline. Kohler gets it right side to Fleming. Carter by Davis all the way in the baseline. Now gets it nice pass there. Wide open cut to the basket. Breakdown as Goodman fouled the ball. Handler instead of staying close to the basket. Velasco with the easy layup. 77-51 now. The 26-point lead. Largest has been 27. Marshall has it. Bounce pass inside to Goodman. Goodman now another bounce pass. Nice. 
Gets it from Marshall. Contact coming. She'll go to the line to draw two. I'm just trying to think of that sequence. It went from Goodman to Marshall, <laughs> back to Goodman. Back to Marshall. Who was fouled. Yes. Yeah. What a great, what a great passing series. Again, speaks to the unselfishness of this team. 77-51. 7.16 to go in this fourth quarter. 21 si assist on the afternoon for the Hawkeyes. Came in averaging 12 a game. It's Goodman will have another one here. After making the first one, it's up and right through. Sharon Goodman having a nice game as well. As Martin comes back in. A falter will come out. 7-16 to go on the fourth. 79-51. Another player having a very Great good game, game is yep. Sydney A falter. Over the timeline. Velasco. Left-handed dribble left side. Hand off to Kohler going left to right. Up top with it is Sharps now. Gets rid of it for a three. Off the right hand of Kohler. No good. Backside rebound gathered by Kate Martin. And Clark. Bounce pass to the half-court line where... Davis has it. She'll bring it up. 79-51 Hawks. 6.50 to go here in the fourth. Up top is Clark for a three with traffic. Falls down low off balance there. No good off the mark right side. And there is Clark trying to get away of the ball. Handler there and the foul called on Caitlin Clark. She did not like that. <laughs> but I will commend her for walking away yep. and minimizing her reaction. <laughs> Morgan Sharps, the 5'10 junior, the ball handler there. And Velasco coming up with it. 79-51. Velasco to the top of the key. Zekan against Goodman. Now Velasco drives with 15 on the shot clock. Bounce pass up top to Fleming. Fleming guarded by Davis. 79-51 Hawkeyes. 28-point lead, the largest. Little floater yeah, inside the shot. right elbow. Good shot by Lexi Fleming indeed. Nice pass down the court. Martin beat everybody down the court. Right hand on the left side. Another two for Kate Martin. She's got 17 and a timeout for Bowling Green. Yeah, Kate Martin did an excellent job as her momentum was moving forward. She took a beat, gathered herself, got herself the easy layup. I think she is just a couple points off of her career high. Um, I think her career high is 20 that she had in Florida. We will check on that. Hawkeye it fans, it is <laughs> yeah. 20. Perfect. Throughout the season, join Iowa head coach Lisa Bluter for Hawk Talk, presented by Oakno at the Hyatt Regency in Coralville. Hawk Talk with Coach Bluter takes place weekly from 6 until 7 o'clock. Please visit HawkeyeSports.com to view the full schedule. First show coming up. It uh, started on November 20th as another show coming up this Monday, December 4th. All fans are welcome to attend. 81-53 Hawkeyes. 6-10 to go in the fourth quarter. We're back after this. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Hey Hawkeyes, while you're hard at work in class or on the court, there's a team behind the scenes making sure that the power keeps going, the water keeps flowing, and the temps inside are just right. Introducing the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative. The Collaborative is a public-private partnership between UI, NG, and Meridium. It delivers the funds UI needs to drive our academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Check it out at UIOAEnergyCollaborative.com. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord and 2024 CRV. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. 
Hawkeyes lead 81-53, 6-10 to go in this fourth quarter. This non-conference game on this first Saturday of December 2023. John Swisher, Tiffany Reedy back with you courtside Carver Hawkeye Arena. So Hawks will have a few days off. Three to be exact until Wednesday at Iowa okay. State. Looking forward to that one, aren't you? I am, but I will tell you that Hilton Coliseum gives me hives. <laughs> <laughs> so, little woo. flashback yeah. to the playing days. Yeah. And oh. back when I played, we would always we always split. So when we played them on our court, we won. When we played huh. on their court, they won. So that's why I get <laughs> that sort of traumatic response. Six minutes to go. 81-53. Right side with it is Kohler. Left corner. Dribbling. Garnered by Martin. Sharps. Up top. 12 on the shot clock. Between the legs. Dribble by Kohler. There's a step aside. Three. No good. Off the mark. Front side rebound by Goodman. Clark has it. Pushes it up. Pass inside to Martin. Off balance. She gets rid of it to Fierbach. Kylie to the left elbow. Looking for help. Gets rid of it to Martin. 15 in the shot clock. Plenty of time here. Fear box serving. Bunch pass inside. Clark using her post moves. Put it up. Can't get it to go. But a foul call to go to the line to shoot two. Caitlin Clark getting low, getting wide <laughs> down on the block. Impersonating the post players. <laughs> As coming in for the first time, Jada Jimphy now, the 6'1 sophomore from Johnston, Iowa, and Johnston High School. Also, Taylor McCabe. Coming back in, 5'9", sophomore from Nebraska. Clark puts up the first free throw, no good. Leaves it short off the front of the rim. 19 for Caitlin this afternoon. 1 of 2 from the free throw line, 2 of 11 from 3-pointville, and 8 of 18 for the field. She gets the second one to go. 20 points for Caitlin Clark. 82-53, Hawks. 29, now the largest lead of the game with 5.5 to go in this contest. Hand off, left side is Sharps. Right-handed dribble, top of the key. Right side with it. Surveying is Kohler. Guarded by McCabe. Baseline drive. Goodman shut her off. Now they swing it around outside. Top of the key of three. Over Jim Fee. Getting it to go is Velasco. Five minutes to play. Clark baseline drive. Towards the middle of the lane. Has the ball knocked away. Gets it back herself. Off the window. And good. 22 for number 22. There you go. McCabe checked that uh, Velasco has it right side. Bounce pass up top for Fleming. Left wing is Sharps. Now Velasco. 11 on the shot clock. Four and a half of the game clock. All the way in. Now kicks it out for a three. Fleming can't get it to go off the front of the rim. After the drive by Sharps. Rebounded by Clark. Between the legs dribble. Guarded by Fleming. Jim Feed looking. Put it on the floor. Inside the left elbow. Nice pass there hey. by Jim Fee. <laughs> getting I like in, that. Getting in the act. She got the memo that the theme was great assist today, yep. huh? Yep. All about the assist today in Carver Hawkeye Arena. Fleming up top. Right side to Velasco. 86-56, the 30-point lead. The largest. Now, and here's a travel turnover. Hawkeye basketball. Goodman will come out. O'Grady back in. 4-0-1 to go. Excellent minutes by Sharon Goodman. 11 rebounds, 12 points, so a double-double. Two assists. How about that? <laughs> she got the memo. Yes. Got it right away <laughs> early in this game. 86-56 Hawks, under four minutes to play. Clark inside, off the elbow, all the way in. Making it look fancy and pretty and off the window and good. 88-56, all, all of them. Every one of the adjectives we can think of. Uh, this one is tipped out of bounds off the Hawks, they say. Baseline inbounds underneath. It'll be Bowling Green basketball. A timeout first for Bowling Green with 3.40 to go. In the ball game, 88-56. We'll take a timeout as well. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. 
Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! You're listening to coverage of Hawkeye Women's Basketball, powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. 3.40 to go in the game, 88-56. Hawkeyes comfortably up by 32. Now their largest lead of the contest. Bowling Green has the basketball going left to right. After the uh, timeout, a foul before the inbounds called on Kylie Fierbach. Hawkeyes on defense now with eight on the shot clock for Bowling Green. Right side now back up top. Deep three for Fleming. Got it. Over Fierbach. We've seen her shoot a few of those deep today inside of Jim Fee. Nice pass by Clark from up top. Jim Fee able to finish left side with the right hand. 90 to 59. Muscling it up there by Jada Jim Fee. Up top with it is Fleming. Another three. Fierbach there. This time no good off the mark right side. Rebounded by Caitlin. Clark looking ahead, but will keep it over the timeline. Right wing. Free throw line. Now passes. No look pass. Jim Fee steps out for a three. Got it to go. <laughs> Jada Jim Fee, the 6'1 <laughs> sophomore. And the Hawkeye fans love it. 93-59. You always love to see those players on a scout team, the practice players that come in and help you out. Yeah, and just really maximize every minute. I mean, Jade has probably been in three, four minutes and is sitting at five points and shooting perfectly from the field. The big assist. Clark this, gets the rebound. Like I said, it's just an example of really when you get on the court, what this team is excelling at this year is every player that gets out on the court are taking advantage of their time. Clark throws it inside. O'Grady tripped up and fell down. It goes out of bounds. 93-59, 2 14 to go here in this fourth quarter. Caitlin Clark has been a little bit quiet, so to speak, shooting 24 points. I don't For know her. if you could say that's <laughs> yeah. quiet, but she has had 11 assists and seven rebounds, so another strong stat line as she comes out of the game. Two minutes to go in this one. 93-59, Hawkeyes. Fleming drives all the way in, puts it up. A two-handed shot, it appeared, and there as she trying to avoid the contact of Fierbach on the baseline. Yeah, she's a tough player that's not going to give up. Lexi Fleming, a 5'5", senior guard from Cincinnati, Ohio. Up top, new face in there. That's Denise Johnson, the 5'4", freshman. And Coach Bluter will take a 30-second timeout to save the possession as McCabe, Johnson, Jim Fee, Fierbach. Now the new face, A.J. Ettinger, the 6'2", junior forward from Hudsonville, Michigan, in there as well. 93-61. 32 points. The Hawkeyes will improve their record to 8-1 and one and drop Bowling Green to 5-2. and two. Iowa Corn and Quick Star are partnering to give you a chance to win tickets to the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series matchups. Simply visit any participating Quick Star in Iowa through November 13th as you can fill up with eight or more gallons of unleaded 88. Use your quick rewards card and you are automatically entered for a chance to win tickets. For more information and official rules, visit quicktrip.com slash sweepstakes. Get pumped to win with Iowa Corn and Quick Star. 93-61, 140 to go in the fourth. Nice pass inside, off the window, and good by Ettinger. The assist was up top. McCabe, I believe it was. Taylor McCabe and is up top is Fleming. She loses the ball. McCabe gets credit for that knockaway and steal. Now left corner. 
Johnson inside, left short by Edinger, got the rebound, put up and good. A.J. Edinger, quick four points off quick the bench. Quick four, quick four. No doubt. <laughs> Hand off there, right wing by Kohler, 97-61. One minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Right elbow, trying to hand it off to Fleming. She does, McCabe right there for a traffic jam, put up off the window and good by Fleming. 93-67, 63, 97-63 I should say. Nice pass inside, Jimphy off the window again. 99-63. Okay, barring that 100 point mark. And again with 28 assists. 30 seconds to go in the game. Up top with it on the free throw line. Now back out to Kohler. Deep left wing three, bounds around, no good off the backside, pinballs around. Going to get it is Velasco. About a one second difference, if that, with shot clock and the play clock. Coach Bluter still coaching to the end here with under 10 seconds to go. 99-63 will be the final, no, 99-65, no, she doesn't. Gave up a shot there just outside the free throw line, just hang on to it, she says. Fierbach does that. She applauds the crowd as Coach Bluter. A tremendous Saturday afternoon crowd here. 99-65, the final. Hawkeyes did a lot of good things they here did. this afternoon. Another solid game by the Hawkeyes. Uh, every player saw the court. Um, you had one, two, three, five players in double digits. I, I mean, it was just a, another solid team win. And again, to have that luxury to be able to get so many people in the game and playing such quality minutes is going to pay off dividends as we get into the Big Ten season. No doubt about it. Great experience for everybody today chipping in, being a part of this big home crowd here today, even playing uh, in front of a uh, Hall of Famer like Sue Bird and Jason Sudeikis, a uh, famous actor here today. It was a, a great atmosphere for Hawkeye women's basketball as they get the win 99 to 65. Farmers State Bank is a proud sponsor of Hawkeye basketball. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin Branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimum $50 deposit. Requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC Farmers State Bank. As we will take a timeout, and it uh, is almost time for our post-game show here, as this is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Did you know that UI ranks near the top of the EPA's Green Power Leaderboard? With 84% of our energy coming from renewable sources. Now you can be a part of the team that makes it happen. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, our partner in a collaborative, NG North America, is now offering part-time, on-campus positions where you can get hands-on, career-inspiring experience in sustainable utility systems management. Check out the jobs and apply now at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 
or chat 988lifeline.org. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's traveling to the holiday family dinner in an efficient Accord hybrid, or heading to a hike to burn it off in a powerful CRV hybrid. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Accord hybrid and a 2024 CRV hybrid. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, this is the Iowa Soybean Association Post Game Show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. Also by United Healthcare, proud sponsors of Small Business Spotlight. Sign up your small business at hawkeyesports.com backslash UHC. Once again, here's Rob Brooks. John Swisher in for Rob Brooks on this Saturday afternoon, along with former Hawkeye Tiffany Reedy. So we took in a 99-65 Hawkeye victory as they improved their record to 8-1 and over the Falcons of Bowling Green State University, who dropped to a mark of 5-2. and two. Hawkeyes did a lot of good things here uh, today, able to turn it on uh, late and put it in cruise control and able to get that 34-point victory here this afternoon. Well, this is definitely a fun stat line to read because there's so much good stuff going on. But, of course, the Hawkeyes were were led by Caitlin Clark. As I mentioned, kind of a quieter night with 24 points. But she did round it out with seven rebounds, 11 assists uh, for just a solid night for her. Um, Kate Martin had an excellent night, 17 points, five rebounds, three assists. Followed by Sharon Goodman, 12 points, a double-double, 12 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists. And Addison O'Grady, the other big, 10 points, 3 rebounds. Uh, Gabby Marshall started strong, 6 points, 2 rebounds. Molly Davis with 5 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. And Jada Jimphy in just five minutes of play, shooting perfectly to tally up seven points. I don't want to forget A.J. Ettinger. She had two minutes. She came in with a quick four points as well. The Hawks shot well tonight, 66% from the field, 35% behind the three-point line, and out-rebounded their opponent, 44 rebounds to 27. Four bowling green. They were led by Lexi Fleming, 24 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, followed by Amy Vasalko, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists, and rounded out by uh, strong performances by Sophie Zekin, 9 points, 3 assists, Morgan Sharps, 9 points, 3 assists. Um, Bottom line here is they just didn't shoot as well. We played solid defense on them. They had shot 34% from the field, just 25 behind the three-point line. Huge night for the Hawks in terms of points in the paint. 72 (laughs) of our 99 points were scored in the paint. 19 fast break point, fast break points, and 35 points off the bench for the Hawkeyes. It's great to see. We talked about that experience can only help as you move forward to uh, have others step up. And you talked about that. Those uh, minutes on the floor can uh, come up so big down the run. Yeah, and as we have games like this that we, you know, Bowling Green was a great team, but we were comfortably in the lead for most of the game. The ability, and and Coach Bluter mentioned it, and I'll probably bring this back up in postgame, like never before, right, we've been able to rotate players in and out and, and get good minutes, not just, okay, we two minutes left in the game, go in for your points, but really rotating throughout the entire game is just, it's a luxury that this team has. And to see the team and the girls, the women take advantage of that is is really awesome. How about 72 points in the paint, too? Is that a record? <laughs> we got to check the record. I know. Book on that Here's one. the deal. 
It is so hard to keep track of the records with this team. Yeah. I, I'm like constantly sifting through papers because it's either a career high or some obscure record that the team has broken. Makes it fun, but kind of hard to keep track How of. How do you think our SID Bailey Turner <laughs> feels? He's the one yeah. that has to keep track of all that. He's on the laptop the whole game, just <laughs> looking through records. Constantly checking those records indeed. All right, Tiffany's going to head to the locker room. She'll get uh, our uh, player of the game, Sydney Falter, and head coach Lisa Bluter will be joined by assistant coach Raina Harmon. Here's our postgame show. We'll continue as the Hawkeyes with the win this afternoon, 99-65. Back after this, Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Hawkeyes on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Hawkeye Pride, powered locally. Did you know that UI uses the same amount of energy as all the rest of Iowa City? That's why we have our own power plant, and we're committed to making it clean. By 2025, we'll rely completely on climate-friendly, alternative fuels. Deep in the boiler rooms, engineers from the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative are optimizing the power plant so it can handle these new fuels more efficiently. Learn more about it at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. That's UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association Post Game Show, delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. John Swisher back with you. Courtside, Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City, 99 65. Hawkeyes get the win here this afternoon. 67% shooting from the field on the game. 35% from three-point line and 64% from the free throw line. They outscored Bowling Green 72 to 27. It points in the paint 35-18 and bench points and points off turnovers 20 to 12. As always, our post-game stat report brought to you by High V. Score big savings with uh, the all-new, totally free High V Perks membership brings you the uh, stats as always on the post-game. As we continue along, we uh, wait for assistant coach Raina Harmon to uh, join us, and also Tiffany will have uh, our player of the game, Sydney Alfalter, with a uh, great uh, night as total points uh, matches her career high of 14 in a February game at Maryland last season. Leading the way, Caitlin Clark with 24 points. 17 for Kate Martin, 12 for Sharon Goodman. As the Hawkeyes roll past Bowling Green this afternoon, 99-65 to improve the record to 8 and 1. We'll take another time out. Our Iowa Soybean postgame show rolls on after this. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. 
Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Escape to Italy and Sicily in September 2024 with travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited. Enjoy this melting pot of multicultural customs and cuisine and beautiful landscapes. After taking in Rome, we'll head down to the dramatic Sorrento coast and then journey from Italy's heel to its toe of Sicily. To learn more about this or any vacation, contact travel leaders, Destinations Unlimited at duagency.com. That's duagency.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community, garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Every Hawkeye game is fun, but some seasons are just special, like sold out before it even starts special. But you can still be there to see it. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you can win a VIP game day experience to see Iowa women's basketball. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery is your chance to witness greatness and some really, really deep threes. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Thank you for joining us on the Iowa Soybean Association postgame show. Iowa, leading the nation in biodiesel production. Continuing to put the final touches on this one in our postgame. 99-65, Hawkeyes get the victory. John Swisher back with you, courtside Carver Hawkeye Arena. Hawks improved to 8-1 and one with the win over Bowling Green this afternoon. Serena Harmon, the seventh-year assistant uh, coach for the Hawkeyes, joining me here in the uh, postgame. Uh, thanks for your time here this afternoon. What a great atmosphere on a Saturday afternoon to get everybody out here. Kids Day, tremendous amount of uh, kids, and it's just an uh, uh, electric environment when that happens oh my gosh 15,000 fans yeah kids day sue bird <laughs> yeah sue bird. Ted Lasso. <laughs> don't forget ted lasso who, who did a heck of a right? you, you probably didn't see it but no, he did i saw a, it you oh, see the I, dance? Saw it. I, I glanced i'm up glad you were at the paying very, attention yeah at the very moment where he bust out <laughs> the running man he told us in the locker room he's just glad he didn't pull his groin but uh <laughs> no but uh fun environment i mean hawks dub championship saturday for the hawkeyes um great win for us and you know what's wild i'm looking at our stat sheet and looking at this <laughs> this offensive explosion that we had um from a couple individuals yes and we we don't even score 100 points. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just but shy. I mean, just shy. But I mean, it, what a fun environment. Um, just had so much fun that game and being able to see our bench come in and contribute the way that they did. That was fun as well. Exactly. And what led to it was a great court vision, being unselfish and uh, assists galore today. Everybody got that memo that came off the bench 29 assists and had 10 in the uh, first quarter. This is a team that averages about uh, 12 to 13 assists per game. So great job sharing the basketball today. Yeah, and that's Iowa women's basketball, right? I mean, we're at our best when we have high assists and when we get everybody involved in our offense. I mean, our primary offense is equal opportunity, right? I mean, we know mm -hmm. Caitlin's going to take a lot of shots, but you really never know who's going to get a shot every time down the court. Um, and I thought, you know, when every person's numbers were called or when they had an open look, you know, they fired and they made them. A great uh, atmosphere, but coming out afternoon game, don't play many of these afternoon games on a Saturday. Always good to get at home. Uh, sometimes you don't know what to expect 
kind of slower start early, but then uh, really got uh, going there. And, and that's uh, that leadership by uh, Caitlin and, and Kate and others who, who just uh, pushing the issue and saying, all right, let's settle down a little bit and play Hawk basketball. Yeah, and I thought, like you said, you know, we did come out and we're like, okay, what are they going to throw at us? And they did, you know, throw some junk at us. So it took us a minute to kind of adjust to that. But we're we're really good when we can hit threes early. And you look at our first quarter. I mean, we go 66% um, from the three. So I think right then and there, if we knew we could play defense, it was going to be a good night for us. You uh, know Coach Emil well. He knows uh, your staff and, and team uh, well. Never uh, uh, coached against him uh, as a head coach before, but assistant, of course, to South Carolina. Played him last year mm-hmm. in the uh, tournament. But uh, getting ready for a team like this, he runs a lot of sets. And a new team that you haven't seen, how difficult is that to prepare for? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's one thing, you know, to, to go into playing a, a team, a fairly new team that we haven't seen, um, you know, before. We didn't have a home and home with them last year. Um, and then to have a new coach, right? And so Abby did a great job with the scout and having us prepared. But I think, too, you can't discount experience, right? And so you look at who's in our starting lineup right now, and, and they're older players, right? And so they're used to coming in on a couple days practice and being locked in, laser focused, and going over the sets and really knowing how to take away, you know, kind of exploit what they do best and how we can do what we do best to be able to exploit their defense and so I thought they've been laser focused since we got back um, from our trip and just locked into you know these next few games. No doubt about it. Uh, building a conference uh, confidence here. Five games one in a row for the uh, Hawkeye women as uh, what other positive? What sticks off to the stat, stat sheet to you or just uh, uh, what did you see to here today that you really like? Yeah and so I talked earlier about our bench production right and to be able to get 35 points off the bench yeah. um, that's huge. You look at somebody like Sharon Goodman who who's coming into their own. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said this on the bench, but I just had to. I was like, look, I'm calling Ray Gun because there needs to be a shirt that says, she's good, <laughs> man. <laughs> right? I mean, oh, my gosh. Hey, like, you might have something you there. You look at, you know, we talked about Megan Gustafson and what a phenom she was, right, and that transition right into Monica Sinano. And then I think this summer everybody's trying to figure out, you know, who's it going to be, who's it going to be. And no, don't discredit uh, Addie O'Grady, right, because, I mean, she's playing good ball going four for five right now. But you can see Sharon coming off an injury and really – starting to own it a little bit and to be able to go out and get a double-double, I think her first double-double tonight, um, was really fun to see. Sydney Falter, who's put I that. mean, we stay in the gym, right, and she's very similar to Kate in her skill set, but she comes in and she goes seven for seven. And I think, you know, you look at some of the players that's been able to get um, some more significant minutes because of the absence of Hannah Stalky, um, and I think they've taken advantage of, you know, all the minutes. Jada Jimphy comes off yes. the bench and goes three for three, right? I mean, she comes out, step back three, she gets a layup, you know, she's down in the post working out um, so to be able to see, you know, those type of players that don't typically get the accolades just really show up in big games, um, you know, and, and to be able to produce for our team, um, I'm really proud of that. A.J. Edinger was another one that scored four quick points uh, yep. right away. You read my mind. I was going there next with the absence of uh, Hannah Stalky, other kids stepping up, getting their opportunity, playing more, all about minutes on the floor of, of, of experience, and you never know when you're going to need that uh, down the run uh, – later on in the season. That's right. And so, you know, right now I think they're taking every advantage that they have, like you said. I mean, going into tournaments, and fortunately for us, you know, we play in the Big Ten tournament where you can have three or four games um, back to back to back. And we've already experienced that, Um, going down to Florida, having three games in three days, and them being able to be focused and ready, and when their name is called, you know, in every game getting significantly harder, Um, but them still able to produce. And, I mean, I think I've been saying this all season, just be a star in your role, Mm -hmm. right? Whatever you do best, just do that, you okay. know, and I think our team has really taken that to heart, and they're doing exactly that. I hear that a lot from uh, coaches of uh, do your role the uh, best, and uh, now they'll have to do their roles on the road in Ames Wednesday night, getting ready for the Iowa State uh, Cyclones. Coach Finley and company, uh, 6 o'clock on a Wednesday night. You've been here seven years now, so you're fully entrenched into oh, yeah. this rivalry. Oh, I am all the way <laughs> in, you know, and I think about this season and of everything that we faced already, so let's see, we've played in hot gyms overseas, we've played outside in front of 55 <laughs> Yes. We played on Can't a neutral court, year. a sold-out neutral court down in Charlotte. We played in front of 5,000 Hawk fans. We played in front of sold-out arenas in Carver, and yes. now we get to take our, our talents uh, into hostile territory across the way. Um, but as we like to say, it's a Hawkeye State. So That's right. It that is, and we'll keep it that way Wednesday and Thursday night with the women and the men That's playing right. this week in Ames. All right, Coach, uh, congrats on the win again. Thanks for your time. Best of luck uh, this week and uh, behind. Good to see you. Thank you. Likewise. Go Hawks. You betcha. Raina Harmon, assistant coach for the uh, Hawkeyes. As the Hawks get the win, 99-65. We'll take another timeout. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield.
Someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen. 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord and 2024 CRV. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions, cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week, it's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association Post Game Show, delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. And back in to Carver Hawkeye Arena 9965, John Swisher, Tiffany Reedy in the Hawkeye locker room with head coach. Lisa Bluter and Sydney Falter, our player of the game. We hear those comments now. Okay, we are here in the locker room with Coach Bluter. Coach, excellent game tonight. Pre-game, you talked about how this year, like never before, you've been able to experiment with different rotations, get players uh, out on the court. Man, did your team take advantage of that tonight. It was fun to watch. Uh, talk a little bit about what you saw out there. Yeah, I just love go? that we have so many quality go? pieces. But, I mean, J.D. Gimphy comes off the, off the bench and goes 100%, seven points, has a career high. I think Kate Martin is just playing Four minutes, okay. just so um, strong and, and physical. Physical, and she had Sydney, a beautiful game. Of course, right Caitlin has it? a double-double. Sharon has know, her I mean, first you, career double-double. Um, I, I just you. like the way that we're shooting the ball. 67% three, two, from one. the field, That's 35 perfect. from three. Not great, right but not bad it. either. Um, I'm, I thought it was a really good team game. Yeah, and again, you you held them behind the three-point line. Your three-point defense has been strong this year and continued this game. Well, that was one of our keys. We had to really play good three-point defense in transition and off ball screens because that's kind of how they hang their hat. It's really not an inside game. I have to go back. We also had 29 assists uh, on 42 baskets, so that's huge. 72 paint, paint points. So they were trying to take away our three, and we took advantage of that inside. For sure. It was a fun one to watch. Up next, uh, Iowa State at Iowa State. What can you tell our listeners to expect? Well, I haven't watched them play yet this year, so I know Hilton Coliseum is always a, just a tremendous atmosphere for Iowa State. So um, it's always an in-state battle. Cy Hawk, here we go. Good luck, Coach. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Tiff. Okay, I am here with Sydney of Falter. Sid, you had another amazing game out there today. 14 points, four rebounds, three assists, three steals. You always seem to get into the plays, uh, defensively disrupt, and a lot of what you do on defense results in offense for the team. Talk about, talk about your style of play and why that's important to the team. Yeah, I think um, defense... Um Let's our transition work and getting steals and stops on defense gets the momentum going on offense. I think it's always been really talked about that um, defense wins championships and that's really been big for me. So I think you guys know I'm a pretty aggressive player. I love being on the ball and getting after it. So We've also had fun watching you score a little bit more this year. Uh, what have you done kind of differently to focus on your offensive side of the game? 
Yeah, I think last year having the same five starters, um, my role was a little bit different for sure. But with McKenna and Monica leaving, that left a lot open for my role to increase. And I just really took on the opportunity for myself. Awesome. Now, on air, I called you the big dog, and I thought I had maybe heard people referring to you as the big dog, Sydney of Falter. Is this true? Listeners really want to know. Uh, it is the nickname I've been given. Um, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. I do, too. You got a big bark, but you know what we talked about? Always a big smile, too. So, Absolutely. Great job tonight, and good luck versus Iowa State. Thank you so much. No doubt about that. The big dog came through big here today. Sydney Falter matches her career high with 14 points. And uh, you're right, just that bubbly personality, always smiling, as we talked about earlier uh, today. And uh, that, that's great for her to build uh, some confidence and momentum uh, going forward uh, to prove to herself if she had any doubt. She can continue to do uh, stuff like that uh, offensively, sharing the ball and getting uh, wide open cuts to the basket to even help this offense further. Yeah, I think we've really just begun to see the potential in Sydney of Falter, and I think, as she mentioned, with McKenna and Monica leaving, it's opened up a need and a, a, a scoring gap that she is really taking advantage of and getting more, every game getting more and more comfortable stepping up to score. No doubt about it. As we'll take a listen to our uh, highlights, our plays of the game right now is the Hawkeyes' 99-65 victory over Bowling Green, and we hear the plays of the game now. So Hawkeyes will play without here here this afternoon. No score early on in quarter number one. Here's Martin for a step back three. Book it. There it is. <laughs> There's the uh, one to get the uh, offense going. 15 on the shot clock. Step back. Step aside three. No good. This one front side rebound, but Goodman gets it. Back to Caitlin. Drives left elbow inside the lane. Bounce pass. Martin quick pass to the right corner. Davis for three. Got it to go. <laughs> Comes back the other way. Lexi Fleming has it. Now right wing for a three. Kohler, no good. Front side rebound by Caitlin. Clark pushes it ahead. Left side. 11-5. Six-point lead. Gabby for a wide open three. Right wing. Got it! Here's a pull-up three. Left wing. That bounces around. No good. Out front. Rebounded by Martin. Up ahead to Davis. Molly. Left to right dribble. Across the lane. Avoids contact. Puts it up. Beautiful move with the left hand on the left side. There's a bounce pass. Good look at, ooh, how was that? A foul. <laughs> Looked know. like contact from here, but must have got the ball, says the uh, baseline official from his angle anyway. Ball's tipped away. Now Martin comes up with, look what I found on the backside. <laughs> up and good. <laughs> up and wow. in there by Velasco. Stepped through, across from Marshall. <laughs> got it to go. Here's a pass inside. Goodman from Marshall. Nice reverse layup. Left hand on the right side. Oh. Sharon Goodman, the pride of Decora. 120 and counting. Here's a falter, right to left. Stops left side of the lane, little jumper, 15-footer. Goodman knocks it down. Davis be picked up by Sharps. Now gets to falter. Sydney Clark for a three, got it. A little contact after the fact, and got it to go for Caitlin Clark. She's been wanting to have one to finally go she down, has. and there it is. Inside of Jim Fee. Nice pass by Clark from up top. Jim Fee able to finish left side with the right hand, 90-59. to 59. Clark looking ahead, but will keep it over the timeline. Right wing. Free throw line. Now passes. No look pass. Jim Fee steps out for a three. Got it to go. <laughs> As the Hawkeyes, a lot of laughing, a lot of smiling on the highlights today. That was a common <laughs> theme here when you win by 34 points, 99-65. The home win improving to 8-1 and one this afternoon over Bowling Green. The Falcons drop to 5 and two again coming up on Wednesday night, 5:45 pregame for Rob and Tiff. Six o'clock, the tip time from Ames. The Hawkeyes and the Cyclones of Iowa State. The Cyhawk rivalry renewed on Wednesday night for the women and, and the men on uh, Thursday night back in Ames. So the Hawks get this win, and uh, something we forgot to mention earlier in the uh, pregame, uh, that record of 30,000 listeners on YouTube. Oh, yes. Might might have not had that many today, but uh, what a record last Sunday at night in that uh, win over uh, Kansas uh, State. So people are listening. They're loving this uh, team again, and uh, a lot of it is uh, the great work you do and your insight of uh, Hawkeye basketball. It was great to work with you here today. Thank you so much, John. Yeah, the 30,000 listeners 
listeners was was big and you know me I'm competitive I keep saying <laughs> we can keep breaking this record but appreciate having you here today and had a lot of fun we realized that we're from the same area yeah. geographical area so uh, it was it was a pleasure to have you and anytime and anytime you're welcome back indeed it may be about a month from now during <laughs> bowl time there you go. Uh, we might be looking at uh, that indeed all right the Hawkeyes improved to eight and one with the 99 65 win that'll do it here this afternoon as don't forget tonight five o'clock pregame for the Hawkeye radio network Hawkeye football from Indianapolis so Hawks take on Michigan in the Big Ten championship from Lucas Oil Stadium 717 kickoff tonight with Gary Dolphin uh, Eddie Polalak and Rob Brooks and Hawkeye radio network from Indianapolis for Tiffany Reedy John Swisher saying have yourselves a good and safe rest of your Saturday night great rest of your weekend everybody so long from Iowa City Iowa This has been the Iowa Soybean Association Post Game Show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Hawkeye Women's Basketball has been brought to you by Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Authentic brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at authentic-brand.com. hy V score big savings at hy deals.com. And by Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.